the bass fishing pools there, Nick's there, Mark the bee man. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark knows, Mark knows what's going on. Mark the bee man knows immediately, immediately, ladies and gentlemen, what the score is here tonight. You're quite right, Mark the bee man. We are chasing a legend. I like chasing legends, ladies and gentlemen. I like chasing legends, <laughs> excuse me. And that's what we're going to do here tonight. We're having a go. Mark, Miles is in the house. Good evening. How do you do? Best fishing with Paul is there. How you doing? Well done on getting the first comment in. <laughs> you did well, mate. You did well. We got two rods up. Big Mike's Fishing Adventures is in the house. We got two rods ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to go. Colonel Panic is in the house. Panic! Wednesday, Caroline, how you doing? All right, lovely to see you there. Ken Saffir was there. John Wakefield joins us. Rick Rock is <coughs> in the house. It reminds me of a fishing rod name when I see your name. Oh, Black Rock, that's it, Black Rock. Uh, Jason Brown, how you doing? David Winch, Lynette joins us here. Lovely to see you there. Tim Damon is there. Tim and Jackie have joined us. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple of people coming down to see me. So, for a brief period, shortly, I'm going to be off camera for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe. John Hatton, how you doing? All right, lovely to see you there. I've got a couple of people coming down to pick something up. Thought you would have been on the sib with flat water like this? No, only the inexperienced will be on a sib out in that. I've got your channel on background, now I can comment. So soon you put up a notification. Awesome, awesome. I mean, you can go out there, it's fine, but you're risking your life with the sea temperatures and the air temperatures the way they are. If you get in trouble and you find yourself in the water, you're likely to die. So I, I won't be going out there until the air temperature is up at, to at least 15 degrees. Uh, Esther, lovely to see you there. Jason Brown is in town. Yeah, if you fall in that water now, the water's eight degrees. If you get out of that water from eight degrees into seven degrees air, which is what it's going to be tonight, you'll be colder out of the water than you will be in the water and you'll be dead within, well, you'll be in a coma in about 15 minutes. So I'm not going out there until the air temperature is way above the sea temperature. So that if I happen to fall in the water, I can get out and warm up. Even if it's slightly, just enough to get back to an ambulance or back to shore, or at least to survive for a little bit longer. So no, I won't be going out there for some time. What baits we use in target species, big conger eels. Chuckle to rally fishing, how are you doing? Michael Mullins there. Biker goes fishing, the Isle of Wight, Ken Saffield, Steve Baker, lovely to see you all in the chat. We're after big conger eels tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I will not be happy with anything else. Like, well, unless it's a ginormous bass or a great big ray. Well, I'll be happy with anything, actually, just to get rods in the water, to be fair. But we're, we'll have a go, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. We'll have a go. We will get a bait in and see what we can find. I've, I've made up some new rigs. Lynette joins us. I've made up some new rigs. Oh, Lynette was already there, wasn't she? Sorry, I get, get confused. Yeah, so I'm using snoods. One of the snoods on the rigs, the up and overs, eight foot long. Eight foot long. Uh, the snood on the pulley panel I'm using is five foot long. So I'm going to give you an idea of why I'm doing that. And that's because I want to see if the congas twist all that up and get off. I doubt it very much. We're on the south coast of the UK. Uh, bikers goes fishing Isle of Wight. Is my comment pinned to the top of the um, this chat, guys? Did I? I tried to pin a comment to the top of this chat. Is it pinned there? Can you see it? D. Barrowcloth, how you doing? All right. All I can see is a white line at the top. I don't know if it's worked. Someone suggested yesterday pinning a comment to the top. Uh, <laughs> Dog Hunt, uh, lovely to see you there, the fishy gang. It is there. Oh, there you go. All right. Cheers, guys. Oh, sorry, I was just confused when someone asked where I was. Just uh, pickled my mind. Uh, JD, lovely to see there. Did you say eight foot rig and snood? Yes, Jason. So the up and over that I've got, when it basically, it's a panel with 
a five foot snood, but when it's open on a on the uh, up and over, it, it's closer to ten foot to be honest, because I'm using two five foot pulley panels, but one of them I'm using as an up and over. Top fishing blokes, lovely to see you there. So we've got one at five foot, and one's going to be about ten foot. And, and I've increased the strength of the lines as well, because I want to see if a congreel can spin that lot up. Because what's happening is they're spinning up on the rig, and then they're just popping off once they've spun it up as much as they can. They're just popping off when the rig can no longer spin. Uh, so I've made the snoods ridiculously long. Now, that will leave us with a bit of a snagging issue. Potentially, we could snag because there's loads of snood. But we'll see how it goes. We'll chuck them in there. Uh, and see what happens. Someone lost a conger here yesterday, he said it was about £20 in weight. There was another fish lost as well, a good fish. So we're here tonight hunting those fish, ladies and gentlemen. So without further ado, I'm going to chuck in a squid and mackerel combo. So now we've got a few more people on, I'll just say one more time, guys. Well, I'll keep saying it actually until they arrive. I've got some friends arriving to say hello. They're coming down to say hello. So for about 10 minutes or so, I'll be off the camera when they arrive, okay? So do forgive me, all right? Uh, oh no, sorry stories, let's hope for the biggie, yes. Let's hope so, Obi Sigfield, gem of our garden roots. How has he become unsubscribed on the channel? Sorry, so resubscribe. He's created a new account. Uh, let's have to start calling you the fish hunter. Yes, James Bryant, Dean Barraclough is there. Lovely to see you there. Right, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Right, we're going to get the up and over in. Northerly wind, so it's taking the bait out with it. Lovely casting action. And of course a mackerel head, ladies and gentlemen. Because that's what the big fish was lost on yesterday. Ouch. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We are in Bates in, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to get cold here tonight. Very, very cold. I don't like that old pin comment right there. It looks right. It's right in the way. Chilling out here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. What a nightmare, Stevie B. You okay out for a fish down there? Where was it busy? No. 
No, it's not busy. New kitchen up for the floor, flat old kitchen ripped out of it, awful job, really kitchen. There's no one here. I think well so I think there's one bloke up the other end, but I'm the only one here. Down this this end. Steve Baker is there, lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, I've got a couple of friends coming down uh, to see me here shortly, like I say, so I'll be off camera for about ten minutes possibly, or maybe a little bit longer. So you'll have to keep an eye on them rods, guys, and if they go, just grab them. Just grab them, jump through the camera, grab them. Lots of people do it for your safety. It needs to be there for a while anyway. Thank you. Good news, we won't be long, mate. I'll pop over with some sprats if you want. Uh, you can do, mate, if you want. I wouldn't say no, I'll stick them in the old tub down there. I'm using the big bakes tonight, but I'll take some sprats, yeah, definitely. Now to chill and wait for this big conga. I'm like a puppet on a string. Will, didn't Mike have a good session? Yeah, didn't he just? Yeah, nice 12 pound carp, loads of bream. It was busy, <laughs> yeah. I can see why he likes that venue. Yeah, it, there was a lot going on and that's good in a live, you know. There was, there was loads going on. I guess that's the good thing with having lots of people with you on the live. Uh, how are you? I can't wait for fishing tomorrow. Oh yeah, you're at Town Quay, aren't you? Yeah. Biker goes fishing's at Town Quay tomorrow. Uh, I mean, it sounds like a silly question, but are you, are you taking a bike? Are you taking a bike there? It's just so if anyone sees you and they want to say hello, they'll just look for the bike. The fisherman will like, are you male or female? Sorry. Sorry to ask. I've never asked. I was just going to say looking for, well, I won't say. Don't want to upset anyone. But looking for an individual fishing uh, next to a bike. I enjoyed watching Bass Fishing with Paul. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, I did. I had it on in the background there. I tuned in just as they were getting the carp out of the water. So I missed the fight. But I don't know if the camera setup shows the fight anyway, because it was on the rods, but not on the fighting of the fish. I think you could see them coming up on top of the water, but you couldn't see anything happening otherwise. So I don't know if you saw the fight or if someone grabbed the camera. You're male, sorry. You'll be in a blue car with my bald dad. There you go. Bernie Parker's out himself all night, carp fishing nothing yet. <coughs> Where's the camera on? You're welcome. So look for a, a bloke, a bald bloke in a blue motor. And if you're on Town Quay tomorrow night, do pop over and say hello. <laughs> well, I say that if they don't mind people coming over to say hello. Like everybody bombard them with love on the site. <laughs> uh, Happy Hamster, how are you doing? New subscriber here. I'm hooked. Thank you very much indeed, Happy Hamster. Lovely to see a happy hamster on the show. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a happy hamster, ladies and gentlemen. I lost count on how many bream we had, and it was a good car. Yeah, we had the fight. All, oh, you got everything on camera, good. I'm pleased to hear that. Yeah, because I turned up a little bit late. Well, just as you would landing it, like I say, so it was all sort of done and dusted, essentially, when I got there. Philip Brown is in town, lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here this evening. It is lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Philip Brown is in town, the absolute superstar. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Thank you so much. Absolutely fantastic. No, if it's less than a month, it has to go, yeah. Thank you. As my dad don't see fishing, he does carp fishing. I'm to make him a, like see more <laughs> wicked. Yeah, good idea. Yo, yo, Will, my UK brother NJ Fishing Maniac is there. Evening crew, welcome Hammy Hamster. It was nice of you to join in with us. Yeah, it was good to be there. It's good to be there. Damien, move the camera. Right, wicked. Bren is in the house. Sorry, I'll, I'll send a message quick, but I've got a lot going on, so I just have to do it quick. Uh, Raymond of Cumbria is in the house. Lovely to see you there. Sorry, the intros are the busiest, busiest time. 
Uh, I'm waiting for an Instagram message potentially for my friends arriving. They've travelled down. One of them's been travelling around Croydon all day, so they're coming from a long old, it's a long old slog. Your dad's called Peter. Say hello. Hello, Peter. Good luck tomorrow, Peter. And hopefully you'll be hooked on a bit of sea fishing when you get down there. Bit of sea fishing. And that's the way forward. Haggis one, evening will and all. I can't scroll back that far. Okay, maybe in the next time it comes up, if it's problematic or something. Evening will and all, you lovely chatters. Hope you have a fun, packed and safe weekend. Haggis one, you legend. Johnny John Goodman joins us here tonight. Lovely to see you joining us here. Thank you so much. We will put up some photos on, on, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, please do. That's what it's there for, my friend, for people to use, get their photos on, absolutely. Get it up there, my friend. Stick them on, stick them on, Michael Manny, the legend. I'm just going to see if I can. He went to catch his... He wants to catch his first bass. Yeah, well, if he puts a small enough um, hook on, he should get one. Yeah, I would have thought he would. Yeah, absolutely. I would have thought he'd get one of them. No, I can't either. Scroll that far back. Won't let me. Um, greetings, Carolina Big Mike. Looks pucker out there tonight. Got a match at Chisel tomorrow. And it's looking awful. Oh, no, Robbie, no. So will the match still go ahead? Yeah, if it's bad. Someone lost the conger up here yesterday, Robbie, that looked about £20, they're saying. It was longer than the bloke who caught it. So that sort of gives you an idea of how big it was. I don't know how tall the dude is that caught it, but his exact description was it was longer than him. So we're having a go. We're having a go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, small, I'm going to try my best, PB Bass. Wow. Um, yeah, he should get... I mean, depending on how big a bass he wants, there'll be plenty of bass in the harbour and there'll be loads around the pontoon there, around Town Quay. Yeah, I reckon there'll be loads there. There'll be loads of... That is the top hot spot for pout. Sheena Rossi is there, legend. Yeah, it is a hot spot for pout. I've had pout conger off there, whiting millions of them. Uh, great for soul when they're in, uh, and lots of school bass, but there should be some good size bass there as well. I, I haven't fished it for years, mines. There might be someone here, you know, that, that has. Sweet cool kid, lovely to see you there. Go for the longer conga. Well, that's what we're after tonight. We've got big baits in, so they'll be, they might be a bit slow. I'm not expecting a busy night on the rods, but I'm hoping when they go, I've given us the best chance of a good fish. We're in the right spot. As Glenn Pellet joins us here tonight, lovely to see you there, Glenn. We're using the bait that you gave us yesterday. No, day before yesterday. So thank you, thank you. I've brought the frozen mackerel you gave us, the squids, uh, all the other different baits, and I've also brought some baits of my own because we want to be loading up big baits on these rods tonight to try and attract us something large. Looks like something might be pulling that right hand rod just for a second. David Johnson, how you doing? North East Cod Hunt is in the house. Right, is that a YouTube channel? How comes your name's not North East Cod Hunters on YouTube here? That'd be easier. <laughs> you wouldn't have to write as much. Then you could come on and say, hi, David here. <laughs> A lot, a lot less for you to write. Nice to see you though. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us here this evening for a little bit of local marks, eh? You're going to go in the daytime all day. Yeah, it's a good mark in the day. Harbour marks are good marks in the day. If you've got ragworm, you, it'll just be crazy all day, I imagine. You'll need a lot of it, I would have thought. I mean, but then again, I don't know... You know, I don't know, because I haven't fished it for ages, but the last time I fished it, we, we went through a lot of bait. I think I was sole fishing, though, actually, so I had little hooks on, little worm baits, and they were going nuts. But a lad did pull out a big old conger eel next to me, and his matey broke his finger on it, nearly tore his finger off. 
Daniel Rand, lovely to see you there. You've just put the pick up, Big Mike, lovely chubbly. All right, sweet. Don't you use lug and crab combo? Yeah, sometimes, but not here, not now. Lug and crab, maybe when I'm fishing for smooth hound or cod. But yeah, there's no reason why I'd use that here now specifically. Yeah, my crab are really for smooth hound for me. Or in midsummer, you know, after they start to peel and then the summer species come in. Don't really use them for winter species unless I'm fishing for cod. I've got plenty of that in the freezer. I've got loads of lug, loads of crab in the freezer, but it's not right for me to bring it out yet. I don't want to be wasting the crab because they're not cheap. You know, the peelers and the spiders. Uh, evening everyone, Pete is in the house. Pete from York. Lovely, been in the garden this weekend, wrapped up, Peter. Hi, good cod bait. Yes, they are. Oh, Johnny John Goodman has done a super chat. Johnny John Goodman, you absolute legend, straight in there with a super chat to support. Till we leave, drop some bait in. All right, Jackie, wicked, mate, you're a legend. Thank you so much indeed, thank you. More rain on the way for next weekend. Oh, the harbinger of doom. Rebecca Sawyer is in the house, lovely to see you there. Johnny John Goodman with an amazing super chat, ladies and gentlemen. John John Goodman, thank you so much indeed. And because we're not on a mud mark today, we can do a super chat subject of your choice. Should you so wish to do so, Joy John Goodman, please do suggest a super chat tune, should you so wish. Of course you don't have to. No one's forcing you, no one's forcing you, but more than happy if that's what you'd like. Looking good tonight with the pick. The electric crab is, yeah, there it is, yeah. The electric crab is out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The electric crab making its way across the water. It reminds me of a film I just I watched the other day. I turned into a fish song. I turned into a fish, ladies and gentlemen. I turned into a fish by Jolly John Goodman. I wrote this tune last night. Ladies and gentlemen, and um, and that's it. I wrote it last night. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I went fishing so much. I thought it was a proper touch. My friend said I go fishing too much, and I said no. But I didn't listen to what they said Cause fishing was all that was in my head As soon as I woke up and rolled out of bed But it wasn't that good Under the story there's a twist There was something that I absolutely missed I went fishing so much I turned into a fish I grew scales all over my body, it's true. I got gills, that's right, I'm telling you. I should have listened to what they said, but fishing was all that was in my head. I stayed in bed the other day, cause I couldn't breathe. There was no water coming my way Would you believe this? I turned into a fish, would you believe this? I turned into a fish, would you believe this? I turned into a fish Dolly John Goodman, you absolute legend. Thank you so much indeed. Bravo! Keep on fishing. Ignore your friends. They know nothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep on fishing. John Murky, how are you doing? Is this, is, it's the moon. Hello, what's that? It's the moon, John. 
Lovely to see a tune. <laughs> a tune. Thank you guys. Top fishing blokes, you legend. Sweet corkins in the house. My mouth, bravo. Uh, Monster, I haven't been on in a while. Still fishing and singing. Bumps to life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, still giving it a go. Still doing it. Still entertaining the folk. And the folk are still apparently loving it, which is good. And as long as that's the case, we will continue to do what we do. Well, even if it's not the case, I guess, because I love it. So we'll always be out doing it, ladies and gentlemen. We lo I love it. Sweet cool kid. Oka, oka. <coughs> you should. Oh, you should. Oh, I see, Dean. Yeah, I got you. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't true. <laughs> it wasn't true. I made it up, Dean. I made, I made that up. That just came into me head while I was going. Like, it wasn't true, mate. They're, they're all right. <laughs> I didn't really turn into a fish tree. Of course, always a joy to hear. Mum's to life. Thank you so much indeed. Lovely, lovely to see you there again. Thank you. If you're a fish, I hope they throw you back and not eat you. Oh, yes, let's say, Caroline. No, they would have to release me. I would tell them to. JJ, how you doing? Lovely to see you there. We're catching a big one tonight. I'm hoping so. The, di the, the dinner's right. The, the tide is right. We're fishing here to light tide, ladies and gentlemen, around midnight, it's perfect. Everything will go quiet, there'll be less boats on the water freaking the fish out, with all their vibrations and that. Um, the town will go to sleep, the city will go to sleep, everything will fall quiet and the fish will come out to play, ladies and gentlemen. So it's just got dark, things should quieten down an hour or two. And then, yeah, the wind's going to turn westerly and then back northerly later. Uh, so, so, so it's pork, lo, syrup pork loins. Nice. Sounds lovely. Roy Wesley's there. Roy, lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here this evening. On the subject of food, we've got uh, la, um, uh, some food being dropped off here shortly. So the, the people that are coming to see me are bringing down something to eat. So that's why I'll be off camera for 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, Birdie, it's not JJ from the shop. It might be a different one. But guys, we've made 100 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Blimey, in 20, 30 minutes. Guys, thank you so much for 100 likes in 30 minutes. You absolute legends. Guys, thank you so much indeed. We've made 100 likes here tonight on Local Marts Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. 100 likes. Yeah. 100 likes from everybody out there. Thank you everybody for the likes that you've done. You know we love it and it's so much fun. Right, I've just had a message from my friends saying they're on their way, which is odd because I had a message saying they were on their way over two hours ago. <laughs> so hang on, hang on. This on way. I'm not sure who knows here. Just okay. Right. Right, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I set the live for half seven, so I would have been live by the time they got here either way. Big fish vibes, not JJ from, you're JJ from United States. Sorry for confusion, my picture is me delivering Pepsi one morning. Ah, and a drunk guy in half elf costume at 7 a.m. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a gentleman um, that runs the local tackle shop here and I always go in there and we always give him shouts. And his name's JJ. So a lot of the people that are local that are on this channel know JJ. So they, they see JJ there like that. And so, some people um, just ask if it's JJ from there. Well, any advice, please, on getting my subs up? Yeah, go live, Bass Fisherman Paul. Or create 
fantastically amazing content that people want to see and share it everywhere. Be my fishing adventures. Ah, I think we got to go with my favourite son, Stacky Jan. No one can do it better. You legend, legend. Oh, hang on, there is another way. You, how many subscribers have you got, Bass Fishing with Paul? How many subscribers have you got? Because there is a way, actually, you can get your subscribers up. But getting subscribers up comes with a risk. Bear with me, Big Mike. You know, there is a... Oh, you got 360, yeah. Right, here's a way where you can get your subscribers up pretty quick, but you're going to have to deal with a lot of idiots and, and weed them out as you go along. So YouTube Shorts now allows you to go live in vertical um, orientation on the Shorts feed. So go live on a Shorts feed in vertical orientation and, and it is spread around the world rapid and your subscribers will fly through the roof but you'll attract a lot of idiots because the, the subs will just fly up. It'll be, there'll be people from everywhere. People that want to be there, people that don't want to be there, people that just want to give you jip will join. Um, but So yeah, go live on the Shorts platform vertically uh, and your subs will fly up. But you best get some moderators on before you do that. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. See, I'm not, I'm quite happy with the way this channel is. We've got a load of amazing people and it's brilliant. So I'm not interested in the subs flying up. You know, I just want the decent folk in and that's what we got. So I don't do that. I don't go live on that platform, on that orientation. Because I don't want loads of idiots turning up here wrecking it for us. Because we got it good, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a good platform, loads of fantastic people, you know. Right, Snacky Jam, Big Mike, you legends. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh, well done, bikers go fishing. Nice, people getting lots of subs on the channels. Ladies and gentlemen. We love her, cause she's here every night. Snacky Jam, she's the one and she's all right. Snacky Jam, she's doing what she can. And that's why we love Snacky Jam, Snacky Jam. Everybody in the house, come on, stick a jam, stick a jam, stick a jam. Who the only one can snack a jam? Who the only one can snack a jam? She can. Thank you, snack a jam, for everything that you do. Everybody on the channel absolutely adores you. So thank you for being there. Every single night when you can and That's why we love Stucky Chan, Stucky Chan Everybody in the house, come on Stucky Chan, Stucky Chan, Stucky Chan If only one can Stucky Chan If only one can Stucky Chan She can one more time Stucky Chan, Stucky Chan Everybody in the house, come on Stucky Chan, Stucky Chan, Stucky Chan if only one can snack a jam If only one can snack a jam She can No one can do it better Than snack a jam No one can get a light wetter Than snack a jam No one can do it better Than snack a jam She can That's why we love snack a jam, snack a jam Everybody in the house, come on, stick a jam, stick a jam, stick a jam. Who only one can stack a jam? Who only one can stack a jam? She can stack a jam. Stack a jam. We love stack a jam. There you go, guys. Lovely, jubbly. The one thing I'm not doing is singing live. Well, let me tell you then, that is one of the reasons your channel is not growing, my friend. Because I sing live every day and my channel is flying, mate. So there's, if you're not doing what I do, you're, you're, you're not going to 
get what I get, really, you know what I mean? You should be singing. It's entertainment. This is what people want, entertainment. You've got a platform to offer entertainment. And you've just said straight away, I'm not singing. Well, then your channel's not going to grow, is it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> there ain't enough people out there singing and doing it. That's the problem. Everyone's like, my channel's not growing, I can't get any subs because you're not entertaining the folk. That would be one of my things if when people say, why is the channel not growing? Well, grab yourself a guitar and start singing to the people, it will grow. <laughs> Saggy Jan, heard out the chocolate now. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much indeed, you legends. I have to give this singing, singing like a bash then. <laughs> yeah, well, you're pretty good at it, sweet corn kid. You should be. You just got to not care what, what the haters will say. Yeah, if I cared about what the haters said about my singing, we wouldn't be here now. You saw the grief that I went through when I started this channel because it was new and no one had seen it and they didn't get it. The grief I got for, for getting a guitar and singing, the idiot that plays the guitar. I mean, people still say it. But look at, look at the channel, it's flying, man. So, you know, it, I don't even bother thinking about it anymore. It's, it's, it's too, it's beyond me, I'm, I'm flying, you know what I mean? They say what they like. So, but yeah, grab a guitar, do something, you know. I mean, you don't have to grab a guitar, but you just find a means of entertainment for the people. That's all people like, that's what I like doing. You're 15 minutes away, we're just getting dinner. It's taken two and a half hours to get to you so far. Wow. You will gain subs, frighten them off. I can't sing. Nor can I, man. Nor can I. Hi, you wonderful moderators, Will, and the viewers. If I could sing, I'd be selling records, making multi-millions. I can't sing. I, I, I've got a very basic knowledge of the guitar. I just hit the strings and they make a sound, you know. <laughs> Don't change. It's great entertainment. Ken, you're welcome. Hayley, fantastic. Wow, I can't believe it's taken so long to get here. You're 15 minutes away and you're getting dinner. So it's going to be half an hour before that dinner gets here. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Will, I will be out fishing also shortly. Will, I'll be to your right, Gary. Oh, all right, wicked. See if you can get close in. I sing a lot better than uh, I will ever. You sing a lot better than I will ever. Oh, I don't know, man. No, I can't sing. Uh, uh, <laughs> he can't sing. He can't play. He looks awful. We'll go a long way. We, we are going a long way. Exactly, Grace. Grace knows. Uh, Mike's Fishing Adventures. We love the channel. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much indeed. I can't sing. I can't dance. You know, look how far that song went. Nathan the Kid, how you doing? Yo, 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 Bikers Goes Fishing Isle of Wight. We are fishing tomorrow with squid, lug, rag and mackerel. You'll do well. I suspect you'll do well. We'll look out for flashing headlights. I'm sat in my tent, Jackie. I'll only see them when I'm out the front there, mate. Uh, he did, Gary. Uh, my granddaughter, Harriet, said the song was amazing, Snacky Jam. Wicked. Thank you. Hello, Harriet. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed, enjoyed the tune. Glad you enjoyed the tune. Score we can at this point. If you lose your guitar... You might lose subscribers. Well, that's it. You know, people love it. They love it. Oh, there's a boat in front of us. Right there. He's quite close. But he looks far away on the sh camera. But he's actually right. What's that? That's a weird boat. Oh, that's that rowing boat. Oh, no, it's not. No, that's a sailboat. There was an around-the-world rowing boat out here at the moment. Uh, went out from the harbour earlier. I couldn't believe it when someone identified it. Like, yeah, it's an around-the-world rowing boat. Like, who's rows around the world? Hope you can pull the conga out today, still gutted. Na oh, Nath, it was you that lost the conga. Nath, where were you when you lost it? What part of the wall were you at? I've got a funny... F were you at the part of the wall that you usually fish? Where, where I've seen... I think it's probably you I've seen before with Drew. So were you at that bit or were you to the left? I'm down to the left, but because I can't fish up where I suspect you might have been, because I can't pin my tent down, and it's windy here at the moment, so I would have needed to definitely pin the tent down. Uh, 
Uh, same spot, me and Drew was right uh, on a Mac head with guys guts hanging off. Yeah, that, I've got that on my left hand rod. Yeah, I've got that long on my rod. So was your rod in long before it went? Pop in if you can, Gary, Jackie, absolute legends. The absolute legends. See what we can say. It's going to be a few folk on the wall tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's great because we'll be getting updates live. So that's three, two other sets of fishermen that we know that are going to be on the wall. Oh, Bass Fishing with Paul, you legend. Thank you, man. Thank you for some great advice. You're a legend. It's a pleasure. I hope it helps. I hope it helps. Entertainment is what the folk want, and that's what you've got to give them. Oh, I, oh, I was going to say something else as well. 15 minutes, my bait was getting smashed all night. Nice, knife, wicked. So um, someone said it's horrible viewing the, the, the footage in, in a mobile vertical status. It is if you're watching it on a computer. But if you're watching it on a phone, it's all right. Because on a computer, the left and the right of the screen are black and you've just got a vertical thing right in front of you. But if you're watching it on a phone, it fills the whole screen. Uh, what bait are you using, mate? Mackerel head on the left hand rod and squid and mackerel fillet on the right. Worse on a TV. Yeah, it's a mobile platform. The, the shorts feed is designed for mobile phones. So, so if when you go live on a vertical platform, for anyone watching, like you say, on a TV or a computer, it's horrific. But on a phone, it fills the screen. If you bring the chat up, it makes it even smaller. Yes, Ports of Sea Fishing, lovely to see you there. All in chat, be led into your location soon too. I hope it's not too busy. Silent Warriors there, you legend, how you doing? It, it, it's getting busier, but it's good. Because there's going to be three sets of fishermen that we know on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to get live updates as the bite picks up. And it might get a bit frustrating. I might cry because if everyone else is like, we just caught a big fish, just caught a big fish, and I'm not catching nothing, I will cry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so it's a good thing, but it might be a really bad thing if everyone else is hauling out the beasts and we're sat here with rods doing nothing. I'm sure that won't be the case, though. The Solar Warrior joins us here. It's an LMF social, mate. It's going to be absolutely fantastic this week, cool kid. Sweet. The Eurybia leaves Southampton at 8 o'clock, Scott Weekend. Thank you. Uh, Solar Warrior, thank you for the worm bait, mate. You legend. Had a two ounce on drifting around to the left of where we fish. Right, yes. Yeah, I'm totally up the other end by closer to Conga Corner, so I imagine they might be moving around. Uh, well, I mean, we've had decent Conga from this mark, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've got the big baits in, so we just got to see what happens. As the Solar Warrior joins us, thank you for the worm bait, Solar Warrior. We managed to bag. A few bass yesterday before the bite sort of dropped off as the tide turned. It was frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. Frustrating. Um, but yes, yeah, I've got a couple of people coming down to see me. It's good that they will have been driving three hours. Three hours before they get here. That's crazy, isn't it? And I shall show you the reason that they are coming down, or one of them. To collect this pole, ladies and gentlemen. Can any of you identify this pole? Solid Warrior, you're a legend, mate. Thank you, yeah, it was great. Great. Uh, David didn't even have a bite. Me and Drew looked at, at me and thought, oh, that's a bit slack. Pulled it and then boom, wow. Wow, wicked. It's a shelter top pole. Do you know what one it's for? It's probably a silly question. It's not going to be hard. Yeah, there you go. Bass fishing with pool nose. All you got to do is think of my last shelter. <laughs> it's an IMAX beat shelter pole. Raymond of Cumbria nose. Bass fishing with pool nose. So they're picking that one up. Gary Scott, you legend. Yeah, because they've lost their one. So I've got this one here. 
It's funny because it, it goes in the top of the bag, you know, when you pack up and then it can fall out. I mean, I know a lot of people that have lost the, I mean, I've lost one once before. Um, but yes, so an IMAX beach shelter pole. So the water's just coming up over the, oh, hang on, was that a rattle? I thought something rattled that right hand rod there. Just keeping my eyes on it a second. It looked like we might have had a nudge. We got really long flowing traces, ladies and gentlemen. Really long flowing traces. You keep yours in a tackle box. Moonlight is great. Last time I saw that was on the Isle of Arran in Scotland. Wow. Yeah, I'll put the phone up a sec just so you can see the moon also. There's the moon. And that is the beautiful moonlight below, ladies and gentlemen. It is it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely magic. Right, let's just tighten that up a bit. Who will catch first, me or Gary? Uh, Gary will catch first. Yeah, Gary's going to catch first fish. <laughs> you have to see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. We, oh, is that line slacking off there? Or is that just a big wave coming in? Raymond says the same thing, yeah, Gary first. Yeah, Gary's gonna catch the first fish uh, on that night, ladies and gentlemen. As we wait for the first fish to arrive here, can't see anything just yet. I wanna leave that mackerel head for some time, really. In my normal spot, I take, might be near yourself, but we'll keep you updated on our catches, mate. Yeah, please do, please do. If your normal spot is taken, right, I see. There are a few people heading down. Yeah, there's a few people heading down. So it's gonna get busy, I suspect. I mean, these are just the people I know of that are coming down. There might be a few that I'm, I, don't, I don't know of. So I know there's gonna be at least three sets of fishermen. And so on average, I guess you're looking probably, probably about five, five or six sets of folk down here. So with me actually included, we know there's four here. Uh, what's it like in the day, bikers goes fishing? It can be quiet. I mean, ev everywhere can be quiet in the day, but you know, you could have it away. You know, I find that harbors are, can be busy in the day. You know, harbors, creeks, you know, they'll fish day and night, but open sea water, I, I don't know. I don't like fishing in the day don't like it unless the smooth hound are in and then it's great and so it won't be long until it's fishing day and night with smooth hound bream bass you know the temperatures are dropping for three days and then they go up again actually let me have another quick check it's going to be quite cold <laughs> tonight it's going to drop to seven degrees it's an lmf party mike mark sorry marks lmf party uh, oh, I fish with Jason. I oh, also. Uh, fish there in the day Friday didn't even have a bite. Back soon as it went dark and had 10 plus dogs. Yeah, I don't like fishing in the day. I find it significantly different. It's significantly different. Right, hang on. Uh, fish there in daylight. Yeah, yeah, it can be difficult in the day, even on worm baits. Mind you, saying that, I've heard there's been a couple of place caught as well locally. Racing's is in the house. Lovely to see Racing's joining us here this evening as we have a go on the wall. We're just waiting for the bite though at the moment. We're waiting for something to arrive. Sitting in background, dinner ready, so eating. Okay, Bass Fishing with Paul, awesome. Bass Fishing with Paul is sitting in the background eating his dinner because dinner is ready ladies and gentlemen absolutely fantastic 
Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Richie D joins us here tonight. Lovely to see you there. I'm 54 today. Richie D's birthday, ladies and gentlemen. Go, 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 Shardy. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, so Richie D, who is 54 today, your legend. Happy birthday, Rich. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. There you go. I wrote that last night, that one for you. Uh, Biker, you were 22 last night. Oh, really? Is that right? Was it your birthday yesterday? Yeah. Happy birthday for yesterday. It's a belated happy birthday. A belated happy birthday. Oh, I can see car red lights. Oh, I think that could be my guest. Arriving, ladies and gentlemen, arriving. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Things quite on the rods at the moment, though. We want to see a bit more tippy tappy. Thought I just saw another little vibration there, but that's no good. Really long snoods on there, really long. I hope that's not a massive mistake today and that we don't deep hook doggies, you know. They can be a nightmare, the dogfish. Absolute nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll see what happens. Got a big old mackerel head out there to the left. What's that? Oh, hello. Hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're going to have to watch out here. We have a, f yep, look at the eyes just over the wall to the left of the bottom of the rods, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom left of the rods. There, oh. Hello, mate. Is it you from the other day? How are you doing? What are you doing? You're not having all my food today, mate. You had too much the other night. If we catch a whiting, you're welcome to it. Our friend has arrived. He'll just sit basically down to the side of us there for the night. He's right there, look. He loves it, he does. He loves it. All right, what are you doing? Don't you climb in here? He loves it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Philbert. Come on, Philbert. Philippa, no! You can smell my chops. <laughs> really? Ooh. <laughs> smell your chops. You all right, Phil, but what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Eh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Phil, but... Phil, but what are you doing? He's coming to be on the tent, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on the tent, ladies and gentlemen. Phil, but what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you up to? Phil, but... He's in. He's in for a bit. Sitting down there, waiting for an opportunity to pounce. Ladies and gentlemen, I have packed the bait away, but they aren't called sly foxes for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. We have to be careful. Philbert, Philbert, he's there. He's there. 
Getting out myself ready. Catch you later. Catch a big fish, Will. All right, Jason, take it easy. And keep us updated when you guys get down here and uh, see how you get on as well. It'd be nice to get some feedback and see what's, what's coming out from the other fisher folk along the wall as we see Philbert. Philbert, are you there? Are you there? Don't you dare, Philbert. Philbert, are you there? Don't do it. No. Leave it alone. Philbert, are you there? It's down there. Having... Oh, he's legging it. Oh, there must be someone coming. He spotted something. A great little alarm clock he is, or a little system that lets you know yeah there must be someone coming he's running off oh it's i can see a few anglers up on the wall you know a few lights up that end it's getting busy laser filbert don't you dare i can see you on the lights filbert Thank you for sharing the links, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sharing the links. As you join us here tonight, we've got a big net down there. Uh, I'm, I'm counting on when we get, if we get a decent fish, we get an obviously large bite. I mean, I know that sounds silly, but we've got a really long snood on there because we've been getting the congas and they've been spinning the snood right up and then getting off. So I've put ridiculously long snoods on because they ain't no way they're going to spin those things right up. They'll probably spin one way for a while and then spin the other way for a while, but I don't think they'll spin the whole thing right up. I'd be very surprised if we bring a snood in that's wrecked. I might just check that right hand rod though. We are getting some knocks on that, you know. I'm not sure what it is. If it's just tidal or not, let's put that up a little bit now that Filbert's vanished for a second. Or is that his eyeballs down there? No, he's legged it by the look of it. Right, let's check that right hand bait a second. You see headlights coming? Still a perfect bait, that. I'm going to put it straight back in because it looks like my friends are here. There was nothing wrong with that bait, so I've just chucked it straight back in. Right, I think my friends are here, guys, so I'm just going to shoot off up there for a second. So remember I mentioned earlier I'd be away for about 10 minutes or so, potentially. Maybe a little bit longer. Keep an eye on them rods. If they go, grab them. Evening. How you doing? All right? 
haven't made it. That's a long old way, though. Oh, 
back to the mother and see from here. So, can you see where the bubbles are there? They go down and you come back to the bubble. So, you get to that bubble and see another one. So, at low tide here, you can't see the bubbles. You've got to go down to get it. Yeah, yeah. Down to the ledge and then get it over the ledge. Because it's easy to point that down the ledge. So, when I wait for the walk like this, I'll get it up on the top and drag it. You know, there's Philbert waiting. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, it's a great spot. Um, Rhubarb and custard are up. <laughs> yeah, next to the danger sign. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, awesome. I like I, I stick it where that rain is because I don't need to wait for it. You've got grass all the way through. That's called Conda Corner over there. But it, it's Conda. So I've gone as close as I can to Tom's corner with a, something that we've set the rods up on. I'm just going to wait for it, yeah, and that's going to come up and then... Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you've seen another one. Well, I'm not going to lie, I think that's going to be the same time. No, no, no. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I got back in on one of them rods. But I mean, I'm hoping for that. Well, every night, I think.
Wilbert. Wilbert, no. Wait.
Thank you very much. Right, take care, right? Thank you very much, Gideon. I'll see you later. Enjoy, Thank guys. You. Have a safe journey. Thank Cheers, guys. Right, I'm back, guys. I'm back. I'm back. Minute, 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 minute. Fix the dinner center sooner, sooner than I'm going to end the rally in front of your skin like a sweater. Here we are back. Oh, that was beautiful. Lovely to meet some new folk. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I haven't plugged the battery in. Cool, that was close. That's it, we're charging. Oh man, I need to turn the flash off quick. Make sure the brightness is down to get battery up quick. Right, hang on guys, we have an emergency situation. Let's turn that down. Turn hotspot off for a minute. There we, there we go. Wow, 23%, that was close. <clears throat> That's what you report, you legend. Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, they've traveled three hours to get here to, and we've just had a chat, had a portion of chips and a coffee and uh, exchanged the um, the IMAX poll. So lovely to see those folk. Great of them to take the time to come down. Jay Sparky, lovely to see you there. Thank you so much indeed. David Hiking and Fishing, how are you doing all right? It is calm. It's, it's picking up a bit, the wind, because it's going to turn westerly. So it's going to go from northerly to northwest and then back to northerly later but i think we'll be gone by the time it goes back to north west because i believe it's about 3 a.m uh, before it goes back to northerly sorry but um yeah no tippy tappy yet but it's well early in the tide so uh, let's have a look at the time actually 2022 yeah 
So the bite should pick up a bit later, but I'm not, I'm not expecting big bites, uh, a lot of bites, sorry, because there's big congas in the area. So I'm expecting it to be actually quite quiet because when they're in the area, everything else vanishes because they are a killing machine. Uh, Scott Riley, lovely to see you there. Drew is in the house. Drew, lovely to see you there. How are you? Thank you for joining us here this evening as we fish in the hope of bagging one of them conger reels that you guys got in last night. And there was someone else on the wall that had a good bite. I can't remember who it was. They said they missed a cracking bite, ladies and gentlemen. So we're hoping to get a bit of luck here tonight. So we've got to wait for the bite to start, really. It's not it's not really starting at the moment. Alan. Alan. Oh, Alan Howworth. Yes, Alan Howworth was down here. Yeah, of course he was. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Alan had the big bite. Uh, do you know if he caught anything after that? Because I think we packed up and Alan was still fishing. I hope you catch one of those killing machines, Jay Sparky. That's what we're after. That is what we are after tonight. And as I say, the great thing is there's going to be a few folk fishing on the wall as well. 25 knots up your end. Wow. Too rough for ray fishing. It's frustrating, isn't it? All this bad weather we've been having. Uh, we've just heard from Robbie, actually, that it might, it's looking like it's going to be rough at Chisel tomorrow. So I'm wondering if it's going to be rough down here as well. I'll have to have a look in a bit, see what the weather's doing. Actually, let's have a quick look now. Let's have a quick look now, ladies and gentlemen, as we go in to see what the weather's doing. Sticky jam, sticky jam. Everybody in the house, come on. Sticky jam, sticky jam, sticky jam. I couldn't get that proper note earlier. My throat was still funny. Bit, oh no, I can't look at the weather yet because I've turned my hotspot off to save the battery on the other phone. So I'll just leave that for a moment. So we've got a bit more battery in this one. Let me just check we're charging. Yeah, we are. Oh God, that is desperately low. That is not good. Uh, Biker Goes Fishing is back. Is anybody who's watching here at the moment fishing Town Key tomorrow? Is there anyone else that's got any plans to fish Town Key tomorrow so bikers goes fishing is it the first time that you'll be fishing town key or have you fished it before have you fished town key before wednesday caroline has joined us with an amazing super chat i know you've been there for a while but absolutely fantastic thank you so much ladies and gentlemen we've just had a super chat from the one the only, the amazing, there's only one Wednesday Caroline. <laughs> Absolutely, hang on, hang on, right hand rod. Oh, hang on. Oh, guys, guys. Guys, fish on. Fish on. Oh, I'm not. Might be a dogfish. It's up. Oh, I don't know. It's got some bite in it. Might be a strap. came off with all the messing around with the net. I let the line go slack and it got off. Oh, 
got to find a better way of getting that net down there. Oh, that felt all right as well. Sorry guys, I shouldn't have stressed out like that. I knew it was my fault mucking around with the net. Sorry guys, I'm just having a moment of rage <laughs> in my head. Oh, uh, so that net setup's no good. Sorry guys, bear with me. While well, I throw some toys out the pram. No, oh, Philbert. Why didn't you help me, Philbert? You could have brought the net down. How am I going to get the net down there for the big one? Oh, uh, that really was frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. A good tradesman always blames his tools. No, it was my, I know it was my fault. No, I'm not blaming the net, I'm blaming me for mucking around with a net. I shouldn't have bothered with it. I should have just left it there and gone down and tried to land it on the wall. But if that was a practice run, it's good. Because that, that was a conger, I'm pretty sure. But it wasn't a massive one. I think that was a strap, it was, it was lunging. So it felt like a conger, it was lunging. So that was a good practice run. Because if that had been the big one and I'd have lost it there with the net, that would have been, horrendous. I mean, I'm feeling uh, 
a bit upset at losing that one, but if it would have been the big one, what God knows, I'd have been absolutely fuming. The tide's coming in. So, as I said, we won't get many bites because the congas are about, but when it goes, we could get a good fish, so we can't afford to lose them. Because we're probably not going to get that many bites, but we're going to get good bites. Michael Davidson, lovely to see you there. Wednesday, Caroline has requested buffering in Virginia. Caroline, that's a fantastic song choice. A fantastic song choice, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to do it. <laughs> We're going to do it now. Oh, I'm desperately upset, but now I've got to get happy because uh, buffering is a happy bubbly song. But I'm raging ladies and gentlemen that we've just lost that first fish but the snoods worked it was hooked i just as i as i walked down the wall i stopped and tried to put the net under my arm and and the bait hit the floor and that was it he was gone he was gone i just I, just as soon as it hit the floor bang he was off fuming but that's all right well, they're they're out there hopefully we'll have another one shortly it was a good bite as well. <laughs> what I might do in a minute is take the mackerel head off and put the same bait on that left hand rod. Um, oh, actually, I've got a pout. I'm, I'll put the pout on. Yeah, I'll put the pout on in a minute. We'll do that. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm over it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm over it. Here we go. Buffering in Virginia, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Come on, we lost one, but it's all right. We'll get another one. Because we're down on the beach tonight. We're feeling all right. We want our lines to pull tight. And then it'll be all right, all right for us. But they're causing a fuss when it's buffering in Virginia. Buffering in Virginia. I don't know why it's buffering so bad there tonight. But for us in the UK, it's alright because it's buffering in Virginia. Buffering in Virginia. Come on! We got a little party show on the go. Here for us, but they're causing a fuss Cause it's buffering in Virginia Buffering in Virginia It's buffering in Virginia Come on! It's buffering in Virginia You know what it's doing ladies and gentlemen We're going around one more time Come on, never mind the neighbours Cause it's buffering in Virginia Buffering in Virginia It's buffering in Virginia Come on It's buffering in Virginia It's buffering tonight It's buffering but it's alright It's buffering tonight We want our lines to board tight because it's buffering tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much indeed. Well, you legends, thank you so much. Thank you for requesting the signature tune of local Mark's Fishing. <coughs> Excuse me. Swifty, thank you so much. Caroline, yeah. Big Mike, yeah. <laughs> We love it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. We've just lost our first fish, but it's okay, ladies and gentlemen, because it will not be the last, I'm sure. But the, the, it would have been nice to put a blank to bed straight away, but it wasn't meant to be. Raymond of Cumbria, you absolute superstar, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. You join us here tonight where we're chasing a legend, a legendary fish, ladies and gentlemen. The, the rumour has it, quite good rumour as well, we have it on good authority that a very large conger eel was lost here 
last night. We are in the area hunting said conger eel. Maybe not the, exactly the same one, but we know there's big ones around, so we're having a go. Uh, Mr. Beast joins us. You might be fishing at the weekend. You hope, well, I hope you managed to get a tiger lily. Guys, oh, wow. Guys, absolutely incredible. Right, hang on. See if it will let me like it, tiger lily. Please let me like it. Come on. Let me get a heart on it. Tiger lily, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. It's not going to let me... It's not going to let me put a heart on it. Ah, oh, I might do now though. No, it's gone. There it is. Got it. Tiger Lily, thank you so much. You absolute legend. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had an amazing, amazing, a hyper chat. Would it help to have your net at least at high tide mark? No. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Because <laughs> the tide's coming in. So if I put the net down there at the high tide mark, the next time I go down there, there won't be a net there. <laughs> It'll be gone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I see what you mean, the high tide mark. Yeah, that's right. Hang on, no, I've got you. Hold up, hang on, voices. Hello? Who's this? Is that Gary and Jay? How you doing, all right? Two seconds, guys, two seconds. Uh, Tiger Lily, bear with me. Do pick a super chat subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. Tiger Lily, ladies and gentlemen. Hayley, Hayley forgot to give you them when she um, came up. Oh, that was lucky then, wasn't it? <laughs> no, just, uh, <laughs> guys, just, you know, down oh, wow. Oh, that Evening, was lucky. everyone. How are we all doing? Wicked. Gary is here with Jason, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want a song, I just want to support Tiger Lily. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so oh, yeah, much. much that, How about that? That's it. You I've just lost my first conger eel. No, How you doing, mate? All right? Long time no see. You all right? Yeah. Nice to Hopefully see you, mate. Thank you. Oh, it's start. dark. I know. It's dark. <laughs> yeah, I just lost one. It was definitely Hopefully a conger catch Nathan's one tonight, then. Yeah, well, that's what we're after. Eh? That's what we're after. But no, it'll be great with you guys here because, you know, if the bike progress... And you're going closer than that Well, end. yeah, we're just going a little bit further up there. So yeah, Kong, you're closer to Conga Corner then. So if you start getting some nice bites, it'll I'll be, be nice to... If I catch a big Conga, I'll be shouting, Winnie yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, hopefully you'll get into them. But yeah, I've lit, I, I, it was definitely a Conga. As soon as the line hit the floor, I was trying to muck around with a net. The line hit the floor, he was gone. So as soon as he had purchase on the ground beneath his belly, he was off. But yeah, he was lunging back and that was nice and reeling it in, it was coming in nice and then sudden bursts of lunging back, you know, and and that was it. But uh, hopefully we'll get another one shortly. We'll... Oh yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, they're definitely about that. Man I mean. of your caliber, mate, I'm well, sure. Well, wow. I've got a similar yellow to your ones. Yes. It's like yellow. The bottom half more yellow. Yeah. The top half is... Sandstorms. Is Black, no, with yellow oh, rings lidsters. around the eyes. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, wow. My Lidsters fishing rods. Lidsters fishing rods, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, human netters. Oh, yeah. Good point. There's Gary. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I'll put the light on so it's see ah. you. There's Gary. Right there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Just moving back through. Did you get your night off, Gary? Um, I don't know whether Jan approved my holiday request. But oh, right. I was a bit naughty and I took it anyway. Oh, he's taking it anyway. <laughs> Guys, I'll fantastic. In in yeah, all right, guys. All right, guys. We'll see you shortly. Good luck over there. Right, Gary, we'll pop over in a bit and say hello with you guys, and then I'll uh, head out there and tend to the rods and baits. We've, we've got a mackerel bait on. I've just put a fresh mackerel and squid combo out. We've got a mackerel head on. I am reluctant to change that at the minute, you know. I was thinking, oh, let's just change it because the other rod's gone. But a mackerel head's a good bait, especially for conger, as well, well, as, well as a plethora of other fish bass rays oh i thought something looked at it then so we'll leave it in there just for a little bit longer and like i say if gary's they're setting up and he comes over and say hello i'll get over there because i do have a pout bait but i'd rather leave the pout to a bit later in the tide we've had our first hit but as that tide comes up we should see more bites in a and a Better calibre of fish. Is there something looking at that rod at the moment? I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't quite tell. I saw the other fish arrive, so it, you could. I saw the motion on the rod before it went. Before he actually hit the bait, his tail was 
whacking around there and then it hit the bait. Because sometimes you can see the vibration with the braid. They're so sensitive on braid that when a fish rocks up in the area, if he turns sideways and there's a wash from his tail as he swims away, the water hits the line and you can see it just rattle. You know, any motion from his body as his mass moves the water affects the rod and you can see it. So I was pretty adept at seeing that, um, that bite there. But we shall see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see how it goes on our toes, on our toes. See how it goes. Tiger Lily, thank you so much for the amazing support there. That is incredible, that really, honestly. Thank you. Well, just everyone being there is just incredible as well. Thank you for the keeping us chatting through the night and the entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be long, slow nights otherwise, wouldn't it? Sometimes when the bike's not there particularly and it's great to have people to talk to. As Vicky Irie joins us here tonight. Vicky, how do you do? All right, lovely to see you joining us here this evening as we wait for the next fish to arrive. We've just had the first tippy tappy, but we'll see. 199 likes, guys. Thank you so much indeed. Uh, Sir Raymond of Cumbria, Lynette Kirsty does that for me. Absolutely amazing, guys. Yeah, we've been regularly going up through to the 300s, ladies and gentlemen, so I've no doubt that tonight uh, the likes will creep right up through the two, 200s, 250s and stuff like that, potentially. We're going to but look to fish here till around 2 a.m. I'd say 2 a.m. So probably start packing down. Well, say we want to be out of here for two, so we'll probably start packing down about half one, something like that, and then vacate the area. Vicky, thank you so much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. We have just made. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have just made. 200 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. 200 likes. Absolutely beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much indeed. Veronica, the harmonica, ladies and gentlemen, has been uh, deployed. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely fantastic. 200 likes. Here tonight. Thank you, everyone. For the 200 likes that you've done Thank you so much, I lost a fish Thank you so much, I hope that that doesn't happen again Insane pain 200 likes We've made it here again Losing a fish drives me insane But it's the name of the game So they say When a fish swims away Come back today 200 likes, yay! Thank you, everyone. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right hand rod, there's something there, he's just turned up. Get ready, it's gonna go. Get ready, the right hand rod's gonna go. I'm getting over there just in case. Not 
sure, not too sure. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. Good luck, mate. Don't you know how you get on. see me going down, but you might be too fast. <laughs> Just be careful on that one. All right, mate. All right, mate. Cheers. Oh, no, it's all right. It was having a nibble, but he didn't quite take it. He was, there was something there. I lifted into it just in case it was on the line because we got those really long snoods. Those really long snoods. So my worry is that a fish will be on, sitting on that snood and swallowing them hooks. But I just want to see if we can increase the landing rate of the conga. I know that we look into them. We've hooked into one. It's got off. So it's essentially worked, but um, but we just messed it up royally. So, but I'm, what I'd like to see here tonight, I know it sounds crazy, we want a massive conga, but I'd also like to see a little one. Because it's the little ones that are smashing our rigs up and getting off. So I'd like to see a, a, a small strap around a pound hit that line, spin it up, but we land it and then see how far he spun up that new snood and just uh, assess the damage. But most importantly, get it to the beach. Because we're losing too many. You know, I'm, I'm bringing back too many rigs that are all spun up, bird nested and smashed to bits. So I'd like to, I'd like to see if we can land one here tonight on that snood. We, we're geared up for the big ones. So we get all the all the bait in there for the big ones, but I am going to change that mackerel head now. It's two hours that's been in, so I'm bringing that in. I'm going to put a pout on, so I've got a hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right end rod, right end rod. Something's just arrived again. Right, hold up, two seconds, guys. Right end rod. Keep an eye, keep an eye. It's probably the same fish that was on it earlier. He's just located it again. Hang on, just two seconds. It is picking up here. Things are picking up. Something swished around it. He doesn't look like he's there at the moment though. He's trying to locate it. He's swum close to it there. Doesn't look like he's found it yet though. So I'm gonna get over there, bring in the left hand rod and get a pout on. Egg on, egg on. <laughs> egg on your face when I lost that conga. <laughs> egg on your face. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Feels like a dog, this one. Feels like a dog. Ah, oh, sweet. There we go. First one's in. Conga. Yeah. So the snoots worked. Right, we've had our first conga. That's what I wanted to see, guys. A conga of about a pound. 
He's a bit bigger than that, but. He's well keeping his mouth shut though. Just trying to take the bait off of the hook so I can see the hook. not opening his mouth. Right guys, he's not opening his gob. But there's our first conger eel. So the rig works and the snoots work. We're gonna get him back in guys, one conger eel. That's about the size I wanted to see on the rig. That's the ones we've been losing regular, but we want a much bigger one. So let's get him back in and uh, see if we can get another one. Go with pulley rig, not panel. Just gonna change the setups, guys.
two seconds, guys. I need to get my other hooks here. I've got some big hooks there. They're like O'Shaughnessy's. I need a bigger hook to get a better purchase. So I could only get one hook out of that conga. The other one was too deep, so I cut it. He'll be, be fine. They're absolutely fine. Their stomach acid is amazing. But I don't want that again, so I'm changing from pennel to pulley. Increasing the size of the hooks. So the congas are here, and we know we can catch them now. So the two bites we've had, I know they've both been conga, and we've almost landed one and we have landed the other. So the rigs are gonna work, this new setup that I've made. Wicked, mate. Are you right to chuck it on the um, on the flannel, mate? The cloth in there. Cheers, my mate. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you. Mate. Even and all, how we doing? Gary's in, ladies and gentlemen. Two hundred people in the chat. Nice. How you doing, Jay? Dino. <coughs> How is everyone tonight? Evening, boss. Ken, how you doing, young man? Hope you're well. Hope Dean's behaving himself this evening. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Um, I sort of snuck off, Mark uh, Rayman, if I'm honest. And I think I am in the naughty spot because I don't think I've hit that like button yet either. But I will double check now. 
How you doing, Paul? Did it that like button? He's trying, Ken. Yeah, he's trying everyone's patience. <laughs> Peter, nice to see you in this evening. Thank you for joining us on LMF. Where Will has just casted rhubarb. We're we're, we're well geared up now. Oh, uh, we got the proper stuff going on here. I hope they are, Lynette, because uh, they wouldn't want you like coming down on them. That's for sure. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you because I need to run back to the car. I forgot, I forgot to pick up my rigs. Um, I was actually chatting to Hayley and I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing. So I, I just need to nip off back to the car. You'll probably see me run back past in another 10 minutes or so. Um, I've got one bait out at the moment. Um, so, fingers crossed. Something hits them rods. Bye for now. Yeah, I've decided to use my dye wood tonight because I've sort of neglected it since I'm having my, my two Shakespeare's. And yeah, what is it, a heavier rod, is it? No, no, it's only a 12 footer, the other two are 13s. Yeah, what's its casting weight? Uh, 6 to 8. Yeah, that's 5 right, to 8, man. I think. And the other 6 to 8? Uh, yeah, I think so. Right. Oh, so it's roughly the same. Yeah, they're pretty much the same, but I actually do prefer the dye uh, out of all of them. Right. And I've sort of neglected it. Is that the same stuff? I have got a sandstorm down there, that's right. a 14 footer. Right. Um, but I, haven't, I haven't put that one out tonight, so I've got a Shakespeare Premier Plus 13 yep. foot. Nice. And a Dyer Revolver in 12 foot. Oh, very yeah, nice. nice. Only the 12 foots then, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's quite the sort but of shot I can't stuff. get my rig shark to fit on the Dyer, so I've just got a bell on the Dyer. Ah. I'm going to have to put a rig shark on the other oh, one. Oh, no. But, um, yeah, Jason made me up a few rigs this evening, so I'm going to run back to the car and grab them. Nice. You don't realise how far them cars are, do you? No, that's right. Well, I forgot my net and went back to get it. I wish I hadn't bothered now. I lost the first fish. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I was Do you need anything for the cars or anything? No, it's right. Sure. Uh, yeah, fine. Thank, Thank you, mate. No worries. I'm back. Cheers, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Right, now we've identified that the target species seems to be the primary fish in the area. I've gone with a pout on that right-hand rod. This is it. We've got the baits in that we, I expect and hope to do the damage with tonight. We've, I've, I know it was a conger that first fish on. We've identified a conger as the second fish out. So they are here. So it's conger baits, 100% all the way committed now. Big conga baits. Uh, JF Bard, how you doing? All right, lovely to see you there. Oh Jesus Christ, you've run the life out of me, man! Sorry, Will. Christ! <laughs> I thought you was over there. Front the life out of me, man. I'm sorry. That's all right, mate. How you off. doing? Well, you all right? <laughs> yeah. Baits are in. Nice. All right, wicked. Oh, I didn't need to scare you. the life out of me, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry man, I wasn't I looking. Scared, scared. Let's move that scared. out of the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, throwing a knife at me, man. I turn around and there's a bloke there tapping on my foot. <laughs> Freak me right out, man. Crying out loud. Put my heart back in my chest. Christ. I made you jump, making myself jump. Yeah, I thought Philbert was about to drag me out of the shelter and chuck me down the wall. I oh, know oh, he does. We saw Phil bit here a second yeah, ago. Yeah, he was up by us a minute ago. Yeah. I was like, I'd better hang the bait up in case he comes over yeah. and starts sniffing through. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. You've got to be careful. He will have it. Yeah. Well, the Congas are here. What bait are you using tonight, then, Jay? We've only got frozen baits. We've got mackerel. That's good. We've got, got mackerel. Shrimp, we've got shrimp. Uh, sand eel. Sand eel. Top bluey. fishing boats. Sand eel, bluey, yeah. Lump. You got any squid? No. You got no squids? We've got the uh, squid and lug wraps. Okay. We've got from JJ. Yeah. 
goes by them at the minute. And it's Jan jumps. Yeah, frighten the life out of me, man. <laughs> Honestly, they frighten the life out of me. Is Jan going to tell me off? I'm going to time out. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, yeah, you just tell him off and put him on a time out. Yeah, possibly. Christ alive. I've got a little naughty spot down there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm just keeping an eye on those rods because the the initial arrival of the fish is I can see it when they're arriving. So I don't want them to deep hook. So that first one was deep hooked. I, I got the second one out, the, the the top hook out of him, but the second one was way deep. It, it's better when the hook is deep in their stomach because it will dissolve I faster. Sorry. I never knew that. That the hook dissolves in their stomach. Oh yeah, cool. Well, yeah, of course it does. Yeah, congas are like a crocodile gut. They dissolve anything. Oh, like bone. And skin yeah. And oh yeah. Thing. Well, they eat other fish, and the big ones can destroy. I mean, they eat number plates and that. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, their their stomach acids are very, very strong. You know, if it's higher up in the throat, it's not as good. It takes longer to dissolve. But in the stomach, that'd be that'd be gone in a week. Yeah, you'll have to watch it. He won't just nick your bait, he'll run off with anything. Yeah, it's that eel, Peter. Yeah, come back to drag me in. Christ <laughs> alive. Heart <laughs> check, Jeff. But I know it from the life out of me, man. Well, I'm going to go back up there, check on, check fuel, but so you don't nick the stuff. Yeah, OK, mate, awesome. And if you hear me start shouting and screaming, I've got a bite. <laughs> All right, what rigs you got on? I'm using pulley rigs. Pulleys. How long's yeah. your snood? Ain't it very long? About that. Oh, yeah, you big, yeah, awesome. I made Gary some earlier, longer ones. Yeah. So he asked me. Yeah, he asked me last. He texted me last night. I was like, I'm making too not long. Not tonight, rigs. Jay. Yeah, long. Oh, he's asked for long ones. Yeah. What last night? Yeah. yeah so I made him today. Yeah. I took him to him because he was at his mum's house picking the kids up. Yeah. And he forgot them in the car. Didn't he's he? got the right idea there, hasn't he? How long's the long's the snood on the new long ones there? Gary, that's uh, about three foot long. Yeah, nice. Gary knows. Gary's after conger eels tonight. I have tried to teach Gary how to make a rig. Yeah. It's just awkward and gets me to do them. Yeah. Nah, fair enough. <laughs> Why not, eh? <laughs> hey. I should charge you. Big baits, big eel, Michael. Jan, do you yeah. think I should charge Gary with making them rigs? Should Jason charge Gary for making rigs? So, like, labour labor costs, is that what you mean? Yeah. Or selling him the rigs. Yeah, because I'd provide all the line hooks. The lines, the hooks and that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Always get you. Yeah. never fight with Phil, but... Wind. Wind that frog out. <laughs> yeah. Right, come on ladies and gentlemen. Now we're just waiting for the big takedown. It's great. Right, let's just do a tide check quick here. Let's do a quick tide check. It's tide time. Oh, I forgot. Oh, we are charging now. Right, let's stick that off spot on a second. Now I can do the tide checks. Fen, how you doing mate? All right? Lovely to see you there. All right, Gary, cheers for that battery, mate. Right, right, mate. Actually, I'll get that straight in there. Just going to change the battery. Nice to see you joining us here tonight, Fen. We've had a conger eel. We've landed a conger eel tonight. Target acquired. First fish landed is the target species. So I'm quite chuffed with that. Right, that battery's in. Yep, and it's on straight away. You could do what Will does in the bath. <laughs> Got your lighter. <laughs> yeah. Jay, how you doing all right? Lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here tonight where it's exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, it's exciting. The conga have arrived. Right, let's just have a look at this tide quick. Uh, okay, go tide. Here we go. What are we now? 21.12. Uh, oh, oh man, I thought it was later than that. Oh, it's high tide in 
in an hour, just over an hour. Hang on, that ain't right, is it? It is. Oh, I thought the high tide was way later than that. Jackie has had two pound ting, nice. Uh, top fishing blokes, it was about a pound and a half. About a pound and a half, I'd say. It wasn't a big one. It was all right, though. It was, it was perfect. It was just the right size. It was the exact size that I suspected of the ones that have been smashing us up. You know, it's just, just that perfect size where they're a problem, you know, on your rigs. They're just small enough to be nimble enough to smash your rig to bits. But he didn't smash the rig, so I was quite chuffed. Was that the wind or a rattle there? It's all right, the rods just rattled, but there was a gust of wind. Might have been the wind. I can't see anything else happening. I don't know. Right, so we've got pout on the right hand rod, the, the squid and mackerel on the left. But, you know, conger fishing, uh, it's mackerels, uh, mackerel or squid, either one of them attached to any bait is fantastic, I find. They're the attractors. But if you can put a squid and mackerel combo on, perfect, because you've got the white squid, a visual attract, and, and then the scent of the mackerel. So either one's great. Congress, their eyes ain't great. So it's great to have a good visual for them to home in on once they've got that scent. They get close and they spot it. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely stuff. Who gets the session going gets the excitement up. Yes, top fishing blokes, it really does. Yeah, yeah, it's ideal, it's perfect. Everything's going exactly as we wanted it to go. Exactly as we wanted it to go. Go radical, nine foot rig with six foot sixes. Well, I had a 10 foot rig on there with two hooks, <laughs> but I've changed them both to single hooks now. I knew when I made that rig up, there was a slight chance that I thought we'd deep hook a dogfish, to be honest. Because I think what's been happening is that the fish on the pulley rigs, they bite it and they go to move with it but they feel the resistance of the weight and then they, the hook sets and they spin. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up. Hold up, that right hand rod did something there. Was that a wave? Might have been a wave. But yeah, with the really long hook, the long snood, they're taking it, and this is what I suspect, they can swim a couple of foot with it and feel no resistance and then just stop, they're comfortable and then they swallow it and then swim off. That's what that one did. I saw him arrive, I, we saw a couple of rattles, which was him taking the bait, moving it, and then he swallowed it, and then as he's gone to move, the rod's gone. But by then he swallowed it too far. And I could only get one of the hooks, but if, because one hook was in the way of the other. But if it had been a single hook, I'd have probably been able to get right down in, into him and get it out. Problem is the conga's quite long and the hook's a long way away when it's in its gut. But yeah, well, that won't happen again because we've got single hooks on there now. He wouldn't open his mouth, he was clamped shut as well, really clamped his gov down. nice to see one on the shore however problematic he was but now we just wait for something crazy big to hit those baits we just gotta wait to hear the shouts from next door and then the screams of disappointment as the rigs are bitten off <laughs> Those bites have been really aggressive, Will, yeah. Very good bites, that's what we want. Those lovely aggressive conga bites. Oh, there was a tap on that left hand rod there. Tap on the left hand rod. Tap on the left hand rod. Is 
it going to go? There could be just... I mean, there will still be a couple of white in and pout about, I suspect. Sean Moore joins us here. How you doing? They all got nets. I don't know, sweet corn, but I've got one. So if they need a net, they can use mine. And if I need it, I'm going to scream for help from one of them. So if I get stuck into a massive fish, hang on, hang on, hang on. Left Amrod gets hit. Left Amrod gets actually hit there. So I can't tell how big the fish is yet. It was knocked a minute ago, so I think he's probably on the bait. I don't want to move it. We need to see a bit more than that initial actual strike because that could be a whiting that left hand rod just got it so just keep an eye on it it could go in a minute yeah there's something looking there something looking at that left hand rod there he is get there he is Spinning. See that spinning? And it's been tied in a knot. So, yeah, there's congas everywhere. Sweet guys, sweet. Regular tippy tappy here, regular tippy tappy. Oh, oh, oh the pout, the pout. Wow, just had a screaming run. I don't think he's on there. Might be a bass swimming in.
Gary? Yes. If you catch any whiting or trout, can I have one? Cheers, my friend. Cheers, Gary. Cheers, Jason. Beauty. Oh, that's the boat, the Arabia. It's going next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just missed the screaming run, man. Oh, hang on, hang on. Fish on. Maybe. Oh, he might have just dropped off. Might have come off, it was spinning there. Might have a little one on, I'm not sure. No, it's come off. Wow, it is on fire here tonight. Yeah, spun it up, look. Oh, there's congas everywhere. They're all over the place. Yeah, mate. We just missed a good fish on the pout, ladies and gentlemen. It was taking line as well. Two good hits, bang, bang, and the line was going. Uh, we've just missed one on the, on the left there, Rob, but they are there. Have I kicked that light over? Hang on, that looks a bit dim there. There's conger eels everywhere. And uh, it'll fish up and out as well, this mark. So we'll have them right through the tide. In fact, we had our last decent one here actually on the tide, outgoing tide. So I find as the tide turns here, it can actually fish really well. Oh man, it's exciting, please, come on. I'm surprised we haven't had more than one on the deck yet though, but we, I actually set that new hook right in the stomach of that pout as well, but the fish missed it. Alan Masters to infinity and beyond. Yeah, I don't know how it missed that hook. The whole belly was gone in the fish, it was gone. So it hit it, Some must have just pushed the hook away and off he went. They, they're so good at ripping the guts out. I put the hook right in the gut as well and he missed it. Absolutely fuming, but I've put the rest of the pout out there. It's because you know they will come back. Uh, to be fair, we'll always add luck at low tide at that mark. Yes, yeah, yeah, it does. It fishes right through. I find here it's really good, just so long as it's dark. As long as it's dark and there's water in front of us, we'll we'll catch fish. And they're everywhere at the moment. There's conga all over the place. I believe that every bite we've had has been a conga reel. The very rigs are coming back, spun up. That one was um, spun up into the main line, which I wasn't expecting. So the conga started spinning up the snood, but the snood got caught in the main line and it was sort of tied in a knot around that. So it didn't have the full length for the snood to spin up. 
else we'd have probably been able to land it, but again, it's hindsight. But Yusef is there with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as we fish an exciting evening at the Hasler Wall, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite obvious where we are, ladies and gentlemen, so it's not a problem with this one. I've made my first dongle rig Sunday, looking good to test it out on my race session. Nice. Back, it's pretty it's pretty that cruise ship close up so yeah it's beautiful it's right in front of us to be honest that just slipped out i got carried away there later than it just slipped out but it is obvious where we are only an hour till high tide though i was open it was around midnight but it's around 10. But as I say, it'll still fish up and over. Yeah, where have you been, Yusef? We haven't seen you for ages. What have you been up to? Are you okay, most importantly? Sometimes you'll see names pop back up like yours and then you don't realise that you haven't seen them for ages. So it's nice when you pop back up. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, left hand rod. He's dropped it again. Now I've gone from panel to pulley. rather they get off than be deep hooked though. A big, big fish won't get off. So it's just those little straps. Yeah, he was on, but he dropped it again. But yeah, as I say, I'd rather they get off than we... Hang on, what was that? That weren't a bite immediately, was it? Must be a snake pit out there. Yeah, I'd rather they get off than we deep hook them. Penny, lovely to see you there. How are you doing, all right? Thank you for joining us here tonight. So this, the little straps that are getting, getting us here at the moment, if we get a big one, he, he shouldn't get off because he'll clamp down on them hooks and that and we'll set that and it'll be on. We, need, we want that pout to go again, really. Drew, it's been very busy. It's very good. 
the bite rate's incredible. I haven't seen a massive bite yet though, so we, we've had some good ones and there's there's straps everywhere. So the big ones should run through as well soon. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely busy, it's beautiful. It gives us a good chance. What we don't want is to hit into a massive one and lose it. But it's classic congas, nightmare. Nightmare to land. We have rain and hail in York. Oh, let me check the weather. We've got a perfect clear sky here, so we should be all right. Unless it's due to set in no, hail as well, wow. Right, let's have a look. 23 knots of wind. Uh, uh, oh, it's, yeah, there's a risk of rain till one o'clock. Oh yeah, then tomorrow's a bit bad in the day, it says. Uh, similar winds tomorrow to what we've got here tonight. Michael Davidson, wow. Guys, wow. Michael, thank you so much, guys. Absolutely incredible. Guy, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Left hand rod. Two seconds. No, it's okay. Hang on. No, it's all right. Guys, thank you so much. Michael, you absolute legend. Guys, amazing support here. Can you leave some fish for us, Gary? <laughs> yeah. You haven't got any squid, Gary, have you? I can't believe it. You want to get some squid on there, man. You've got loads of mackerel, though, so that should do the trick. I've got squid here, Gary. If you want to increase your bite rate, come and grab a couple of squid. You only need to put half of one on each bait. As long as there's a little bit of squid, even if it's a tiny sliver, it'll... Yeah, yeah, come and grab one. Come and... Oh, you have one. Oh, if you need it, get it on there. Cut it in half. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Here we go. This is good. This is better. Yes. Oh, no, he's come off. No, it's not fair.
Just lost a good fish. Really good fish. Too. My legs are shaking while I'm still shaking. Oh, I struck into it and it whacked and the bottom was over and then it just popped off. But once my legs start shaking, you know we've lost a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just lost the fantastic fish there. Fuming. That was the one we came for. Well, it wasn't a 20 pound, it was a good 10 pound fish that. That hammered the top of that rod over on the first lunge and then just popped off. But now we've got two really good baits. I've changed it to a running leisure on the left hand rod. Uh, I, f I don't know, I think the right hand rod went while I was crying over the loss of that fish, but I heard the rod butt rattling, but I didn't see it go. He should be back, cause, but I don't know, I don't know. But there'll be a few of them out there though, so we've got a good chance of another one. That's, that's one counting on, there's loads of them in front of us. That was a good fish, that was a good, good fish. Yeah, we've had some, some bites, but... Yeah, you'd have some cracking bites over there, mate. You, you, I've got 80 pound snoods on. Good to see a good bite, yes. But the rod, he, he lunged back and I just knew that was a good fish. I couldn't even feel the full power of it because he, he popped off before he completed the full reverse. So it could have been proper heavy, but I felt about 10 pounds worth of fight. And then the hook popped out. But if it hadn't popped out, he might have just kept going and been almost unstoppable, you know, a beast of a fish. But that was a beauty, guys, a beauty. This wall is a good place to be at the minute for the big stuff. Well, there's some good fish here. They behind us, Gary, are they? They are. Stood there. Here we go. Here we go. Man, uh, I would have needed help landing that as well. I was getting ready to shout Gary and that. Oh yeah, Michael, thank you so much. Michael, we had a 
super chat, didn't we? And a hyper chat, and then that crazy take that's just. But the good thing is, the Congas are here. They were here yesterday. They're here tonight. They'll probably be here tomorrow. They'll they could be here for a week, but they are definitely here. I felt the weight of one right there. There are good fish here. Someone along the walls got to land one here tonight. I'm hoping it's us. I think it was a conga eel that you missed. Yes, but there's loads of more conga eels out there, Jamie. Yes, absolutely there is. Lawrence has had a strap conga. Nice. Weather's looking better for tomorrow, so thinking of sea fishing tomorrow night on the wall. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, Michael Davidson, thank you so much for the amazing, amazing hyper chat that you've done. You absolute legend. Thank you. Are you still there? Off to the shops before it rains. Good luck, Will. Vicky, take care. We'll see you soon, all right? Thank you. Hopefully, by the time you get back, we'll be stuck into something gargantuan. When that tide starts to run out, there'll be some massive congas in front of us. Like I've hit the ER, hang on, right hand rod again, right hand rod, right hand rod. It's only a little knock that, looks a bit doggy. Let's see how determined he is. See how determined he is, ladies and gentlemen. I've put a massive rig on there now. Next conga reel, it's that, oh no, that's the left hand rod. If we get a big one on that left hand rod, he's coming in. I've just gone back to a panel rig, but they're like eight O's on there now. Hang on, is that a rattle on the left as well? I know there's a few dogfish out there because Gary and Jay have had landed two or three. But I've got the big old baits out there. I want to try and avoid the dogs if I can. And we've done well so far. We haven't landed one enough. Every bite I suspect we've had has been a conga. Especially that last one that just got off. Fuming. Mr. Beast, how you doing? You're right. It's well busy here, it's beautiful. The uh, potential is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We've had the good fish on, he's gone. I'm just hoping we get another chance. We always get one big bite per session and we've had it. Uh, we did a bit better than usual though. Usually we just see the big bite, but that he was on for a second can't believe it it's not even high tide yet no that's the thing so we still got the high tide and when the tide turns in an hour after when that tide starts running out it'll be great the potential for the big stuff is is quality the tides are ideal for the next sort of three nights Twenty-two thirty-six. so we're within the golden hour I mean, that, that big conga hit us bang on an hour before I tide. What's the wind doing? It's west, northwesterly, 23 knots. Temperature dropping to 7 degrees. So it's going to get chilly, it's going to be breezy, but it's nice. Similar to tomorrow. Wow, my heart is in my mouth here, guys. We could see a beautiful fish here. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. The bite has done exactly what we want it to do. The baits are working. All we can do now is just wait. Wait for the next one. It will come. Just depends how big it is. Come on. Come on. They are there in front of us. Something had a little knock there. Which bait was that? There. Oh! Guys, let it go. Let it go. Blimey, nearly took the rods in. Let me see if I've got another one of those. Oh, yeah. oh, 
Oh my God, guys, we're getting so close. Come on. Oh. Oh. Uh. That looked like a bass. Guys, we are tantalizingly close to hitting a new PB here. I can feel it. Everything that's hitting us is big on the high tide and we've still got the first turn of the tide yet. The target specific baits are doing the job perfectly, ladies and gentlemen, perfectly. I think there is going to be a big one. Come on. Come on, guys. Everything that's hitting us is big. You into a fish, Gary? No. Ah. Ah. God, guys, this is crazy. Come on. Oh, this is crazy. This is fishing really, really good. Man, we've missed two massive, big, massive fish. I tell you what, if we had a bit more luck behind us, we could be sitting here with two massive temp. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just never know with these congas, they're spinning up the line.
Oh, it's coming, guys. It's coming. Come on, it's coming. Hope you can get the big one, Nath the kid. We've lost one big one and we've had a crazy big run. That, that last bite looked like a bass. I'm going to call big bass on that one. So there's all sorts in front of us. I have upped the hook size, Jamie. I've done that. I've, I've, you've, I've literally just cut the rig off and up the size of the hooks. Lit right there, I've just done it on the last cut, on both the rods. So I put eight O's on the left hand one, I've just put two six O's on the right. So yeah, I've done that. Uh, the Raymond of Cumbria, it was, it was, it's gonna happen. You got 264 ready to catch that PB. Guys, it's exciting. Like I say, the tide hasn't even turned yet, and I've had good fish here when the tide turns and it starts running out, and that's when you really get the really big stuff going on. Yeah, but I mean, they're classic conga bites. They're hitting us and we're missing them, you know what I mean? They're just, it's just classic. But uh, we just need one to hit it and take it. Let me just loosen the drag off on that left down rod a minute. There's some big fish in front of us. Big fish. I had that big one on a 4-0 panel. Could look up to one once. I put the big hooks on. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we, we had the little ones on. Well, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't in, in these situations. I could put big ones on and then someone would say they're too big. And I could put little ones on and they'll say they're too small. It's just, you know, different strokes. But... But I'm confident if a fish take it, it's a good hook hold on what we've got on there now, we'll land it. You know, it just, it is what it is. We've, we've, we've just got a bit of luck, you know, a bit of luck we need. Need a bit of luck. Big Mike's Fishing Adventures. All right, mate, we'll see you on the next one, all right? Take it easy, man. It's tense, Jamie, yeah. Hello, mate, you all right? Yeah, mate, I'm good. Wicked, wicked. Gary has joined us here, ladies and gentlemen, as we await a massive bite followed by a pb ray or bass we nearly had that david i've had a, what must have felt like a 10 pound conger and then we had that big bass bite so we could have been sat here now with a, a lovely big yeah, conger lovely. and a bass you should have seen that last bite we just had go it was mad i was you nearly took just the tuning in, in on, on onto the page and yeah. i just see you like that off honestly like, oh. I, I thought the drags were set but it was running so fast it lifted the butt of the rods i thought they were going in oh, really yeah honestly it lifted the whole butt of the rods they almost went over good thing they were attached to that else we'd have had them down the wall <laughs> i just had a cast and it went straight off towards three o'clock and i was like no not oh, towards yeah, Will. So no. I was like, Went to put my hand there to sew it down and mm. whip my hands. I just grabbed oh. it and stopped it. Yeah, nice, one, mate. That's the risk being quite close. But the good thing is you're bang on top of these congas as well, mate, and uh, they are right there in front of us. Well, that, that dogfish I had was on sand deal and squid, and it took ah. the sand deal clean off. Yeah, even yeah. Even though they're wrapped together. Yeah, the pout that I've put out has been absolutely annihilated. Which one's at the right hand one? Yeah, I put a pout on there. The first conga bit it in half, bit, literally bit it in half. And then that last Corky. big bite there that looked like a bass had the rest of it. So now I've just got squid bait on that. But it looks like pout bait, absolutely deadly. Yeah, we've got bluey, mackerel, sand dill. But I had one squid left over from last session, which yeah. was wrapped up. Because I've got some of them squid and black lug wraps. Yes. JJ. Yeah, yeah, so nice. I, I've got two. Uh, I've got one on the rod now. Okay. And uh, I've got one left, and then I had a spare squid, so I chucked the squid on. Nice. So I had squid on one, and I had squid, squid and sand deal on one, and squid and black lug on the other. Okay. Oh, a hound, yeah. Fen, actually, yeah, good shout. There was one down in here, wasn't there? Yeah, it was a hound there? caught. Yeah, that could have been a hound picking that up, actually. It was that sort of bite, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's key. I kept I kept catching pout there. Yes. Yes. Have you gone out of distance? Yeah, I'm hammering as far as I can. Well, they're about 80 yards. I'm not a big hitter with those rods. So they're about 80 yards, and that's where they're sitting. Nigel Brown, thank you very much indeed. 
Oh, Calcif, Calcif, uh, how you doing, all right? I couldn't read the title, so I couldn't say hello. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. We just uh, waiting for another so Oh, I thought that was that left hand one, just getting a slight pull there. We're just waiting for another sign of life here. It is crazy. I'm hoping we haven't missed the best of it. It is exciting. I don't want to build us up too much because, in all fairness, we have missed the fish and there will be a period where it, where it will slow up. But I'm hoping that's not yet. I'm hoping that's not yet. Yesterday we fished a bass mark and it was on fire until I tied and then it, it died, died right off. I'm hoping that's not going to happen here tonight. Oh, is that English writing? Oh, you could read it, Jan. I can read it. I've, I couldn't make it out. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. I couldn't read your name. Hayley, Mascal, lovely to see you there. Thank you. You're, far, you're home. Thanks again, Will, for giving us the time. We are really grateful. You're welcome. Please do send those photos over. Two metres from the bottom of the wall, I think. It must have come into eat all the bait we threw after rebaiting. Yeah, nice. Wicked. I've had all mine at distance here, all my big stuff. So, you know, to be fair, they're probably at every range, in close, at distance. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all over the place. I sort of guess there was a lot of them about because we've been getting hammered constantly on the um, mackerel and squid combos. And the pout, the pout was hit twice by big fish, man. I only brought one pout. Glenn gave it to me the other day when we were... Hang on, what was that? Is that the wind? Glenn gave it to me the other day when we were fishing and um, I've brought it here today and put it on. It's been absolutely annihilated. So uh, I think uh, the key will be returning here definitely with at least two pal to get them in there around the high tide mark. So pout, squid and mackerel, baits at distance. Uh, absolutely getting the bites they're attracting the fish I can't believe we missed that big one though he was beauty I felt the power of it as well so it's even more frustrating we just want to hope that one comes back do you want to jump in and say hello yeah, sure. right? Gary's going to jump in and say hello guys while I just go for a wander and, and cry my eyes out over the uh, fish that we've missed <laughs> I'm behaving all the legend is there you're up here, the bark, bow, bow, tick, bow, 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 tick, bow, bow, tick, bow, 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 tick, bow, bow. Go on, mate, jump in silo. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all? Oh, hi, Hayley, you got home safe? Didn't think it would take you too long at this time of night. Hopefully it was a nice drive back for you. And I handed Will the biscuits as well. Oh yeah, thank you. Hi Penny. Sweet corn kid. How are ya? How are ya? Fen, nice to see you mate, nice to see ya. Yeah, um, sweet corn, thank you very much for what you did for me earlier, I really appreciate that mate. Oh, Hayley, no, it's on a, on a sea. Just, do, <clears throat> just out here doing what we love. Um, I wouldn't know, Ironics. Wouldn't they? Yeah, so we're getting, so I'm about 80 yards to the left of Will, and I've had one dogfish on sand hill and squid rat, and I've been getting some. Jason's trying to wind us up. Yeah, so um, I've been getting some quite decent bites, to be fair. 
So I've had a quite a... Support, Lucas. Yeah, no worries. So yeah, I had my... Um, it was a fair sized dogfish as well. It had a little bit of power to it. But we managed to um, de-hook him and release him back to fight another day. Hopefully there'll be some plenty more tippy tappies. Ah, uh, I don't know what you're going on about, Jan. I didn't say biscuits. Never, never mentioned the word biscuit at all. Oh no, I didn't. Shh, Lynette, shh. Don't know what you're going on about, Jan. Would I ever think like that? Yeah, it is Sweet Corn Kid. Yeah, you're right. Her middle name's Cadbury as well. She'd be lost without us, Lynette. So, Dean, if you're with Jan, does that mean Ken's with myself and Lynette? Is Ken on our side? Nice party boat incoming from the left hand side, guys. No, there's no snacks here, Lynette, none whatsoever. Team Fissel, no team whistle here. Ah, oh, you're not grassing on me, Dean, are you? Are you nicking that whistle? No, you can, you can, uh, you can <laughs> pat me down before I leave, boss. <laughs> Custard. This looks like a doggy bite. Yeah, or a ting. Fingers crossed for the ting then, Will. Oh. Oh, is that right, Jan? <laughs> so when I walk back to my watch in a minute, your phone's going to go off and alert you that it's moved. So Portsmouth Sea Fishing Wheel yeah. is to our right. 
Yes. Um, he's been there for an hour or so. He's had some good taps and a large doggy. Nice. All right, wicked. Yeah, I've had a large doggy down this end. Well, they were earlier on. Oh, brilliant. Hopefully he'll have a bit of luck up there. Yeah. There's definitely good fish running through. Oh, it's lovely here, Jan. Tiny little bit of wind and that's it. Fingers crossed it stays that way. No, Paul, we keep choosing them rubber ones. Ah, uh, Hayley, thank you very much for popping in. Say it, meeting our will. Yeah, it's, it's like, totally understandable. Driving does take it out of you, especially this time of night with the bright lights about. So, no, thank you very much and thank you for the biscuits. Um, hopefully, see you on the next one. I oh, know, sweet corn kid, but he can't help himself. I think he's picking up another one now. Haley's off to bed, Will. Oh, okay, Haley. Take care. It was lovely to meet you guys tonight. Thank you for dropping down and that. Trevor's going to carry on watching, but she's oh, going wicked. to bed because she's knackered. All right, Trevor. Thank you very much indeed. <clears throat> Hopefully that pole does you some justice. And uh, thank you for popping down. The, the um, chips and the sausage were beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Uh, Haley's probably sent the photos over already, but if she hasn't, do pop them over and I'll uh, I'll get those up on the group wall. Thank you. Rod, the one with the green light on. Yeah. What boat you got on there? It's the one with the green light on. I've got, I want to say, just squid. And the one next to it, which hasn't got a light on it, because I can't I can't get a rod tip light around the end of it, ah. around the tip. So that one's got a bell one, and that one's got the squid and black lug. Right, okay. Oh, okay. Awesome. But one is about 10 yards further out than the other. And then Jason's got the two blue ones. So I just saw the green light get hammered. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's not bouncing now. What rig you got on there? Um, pulley. Pulley, right. right. It's not going now. I'm only joking, it wasn't hammered. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you have me sitting on the edge of this shelter then, Will. <laughs> no, it, it went. It's not going now. Yeah, I might put um, a bluey on in a minute. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, has it gone again? Yeah, one conger wheel for Will, one doggy for me, and nothing for Jason so far. So no doubt Jason will be whinging on the way home. Oh. Oh. Oh, the wind's blowing it over. Oh, uh, right. Lights out, ladies and gentlemen, lights out. If you turn it 90 degrees, Will, will that stop it from rolling? Uh, be more surface area then, wouldn't it? Yeah, but the... Ah, uh, quite short. Yeah. There we go. Will's just put 50B back in the meter. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Rids, nice to see you this evening. Uh, Rids. Oh, left hand, left hand. Lovely 
good to see you in Reds, thank you. Oh yeah, definitely. Now I'm with I'm with you on that one. Definitely, some big bangy biteys going on here tonight. It's gone a bit quiet now, though. I'm getting worried. Nah, don't get worried, Will. That's because the big ones come in and scared all the little ones yeah. away. Yeah, and there's plenty of water and plenty of time as well. I would have liked to have seen something else. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, something else happened on there. Okay, Jam. So you join us tonight here on LMF as Will fishes the south coast of the UK. So far, the fish count is one conger eel. Yeah. Is it becoming a problem, uh, Portsmouth sea fishing with the microphone? Uh, I'm not too sure actually, Dean. They, yes, they are. They're chunky chocolate. They are yet to be open. <laughs> no chance, SG. I've, uh, I have actually had Snacky John, ja Snacky John. Snacky Jan song stuck in my head for the last two days. Because if anyone can, Snacky Jan can. Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one then, Jay. Yeah, I was driving down the motorway at work singing it. My colleague was looking at me all strange. But he clearly doesn't understand. Um, no. <laughs> They're trying to get me to sing, Will. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> Give me two. LC, how are we? Nice to see LC. you in tonight. Glad you got your motor all sorted, mate. No, I'm more of a, a Mr. Bean type, sweet corn kid. So what you got on, Will? Squid and Pal? Squid and Mac. Squid and mackerel. One boat, one boat now. I did have okay. about two fish hit it and took a half each. Oh, did you, uh, you only had the one? Yeah, I had one. But it was a big pout. The first fish hit it, took the guts right out, massive bite, must have bent the hook over, pushed it the other way, took the guts. Oh, no. And then I wrapped what was left on it, put a squid on it, chucked it out, and then we had that big what looked like a bass run. Yeah. And that just took the last of it off. Oh no. So now I've just got actually, yeah, yeah, squid and mackerel combos on both. But they're good combos to have. That's what we want out there. If we're going to get something big, that's the mix we want. Right, unbehavable. I will give you an example of the beatboxing that I can do. 
so it goes a little like this. That is about as far as it goes. That's as much as you're going to get out of me tonight. Or someone else's rig. <laughs> yeah, it's probably mine. That's why I've not had no bites. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're doing your bit on cleaning up the sea, Will. Yeah, got another rig here. Koala tea. I could actually murder a cup of tea right now. Excuse me. No, Dean, honestly, that was awful. I can't even believe I did that behind the camera. Oh, unbehavable, you absolute legend. With an absolute hyper chat. Really? Thank you very much. Wow. I got, I'll be there in a minute, mate. Um, I left it indoors, Lynette, because Jason was rushing me and I didn't have time to make a cup of tea. And I didn't, didn't want to burn Will's lips again, so the cup is indoors. Yeah, when Will comes back unbehaviable, I'm sure he will like that comment. I just don't want to touch the screen in case I end the live because that is my luck. I was born on Friday the 13th, so anything can happen. <laughs> yeah, that, that's about right, Dean. <laughs> awesome. Right, I'm gonna go and check my watch, mate. Yeah, your green one went earlier, so you might have a bit of a tangle on that. Ladies and gentlemen, unbehavable, absolutely amazing. Wow. You absolute star. Unbehavable, thank you. And thank you to Gary for uh, keeping you guys in the chat while I'm over there fretting over losing the fish. I'm, I'm gutted, I'll be honest with you. The only thing that's going to suffice is if we land a five pound plus fish. It's well on the card still. There's no reason why we couldn't land one here. Unbehavable, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, unbehavable with an amazing hyper chat here tonight. Guys, thank you so much. <laughs> Hang on. You're right, you're in a fish. Oh, I thought there was one there. Unbehavable, you absolute legend. Absolutely beautiful, thank you so much indeed. We are still getting the bites. The fish are still there. We just had another half decent one there. It looked a bit doggy, that one, but the congas are far more aggressive. They're hitting and they're rocking and rolling. Lost Souls and chat, how you doing? TC and chat, lovely to see you there. I was in Lost Souls um, live feed the other night, guys. Uh, I was Because I think, is Jay Sparky still on the chat here tonight? I'm not sure, I was going to ask if it was Jay, there was a, uh, someone was gunned down on a campus in America or near a campus or something and I was in Lost Souls TC and chat and they do the crime talks and stuff and I mentioned it on the night, I was like oh yeah I just come from a live and there was a, a sort of, it was a drive by I believe, well I can't remember if it was Jay Sparky that mentioned it but Oh, guys, hang on, hang on.
Gary. Might need your help here, mate, in a minute. Here we go, guys. We're in. This is it. This is it. He's well hooked. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I might need a net here, mate. Hang on. Carefully. Go, run, mate. Make sure pull. Yes, he's taken the pulley. Really. It might be a big dog. He's hang on. Conga. It's not a big one. It's alright. He's only little. I thought he was bigger than that. Watch that way. Don't come out and hit you, mate. I'm bringing up to you, be careful, mate. Watch him up, don't come out. Yeah. Yes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. He's only a little one, guys. I got carried away. Wicked, mate. You're legends. There we go. Right, I need to get him off and quick. Cause go again. Oh, the hooks have done a great job. Go, thank you, mate. You're you well. Thank you. Right, he's he's not massive, but he's still tricky. Let's see if I can get a picture up for you. Whoa, 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 don't you bite me, mate, please. Guys, second one of the night. Target species. Those conga specific baits doing the job. We haven't seen a dogfish. It's all these. These are what we're after. I need to get the bait back in quick. The new rigs are doing the job. Wicked, guys. Let's get it back in. I say they're doing the job. We've missed a couple, but we're landing them too. Let's get him back in before I take a bite and hopefully get another bigger one. The tide's starting to run. They're still there. Let's get that rod back in.
What you had? Yeah. Who, Gary? Yeah. What did you bite you off? Oh, got it. Another big fish just lost over there, guys. They're still in front of us. Sorry? Yeah, wicked, mate, wicked. Right, a big fish has been lost to our left, guys. Unbehavable, thank you so much indeed. Please do. Select a super chat subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the bite is still on. It's still on. That right and left hand rod's just caught in the tide a bit. Jay Sparky, wicked. Oh, it was you. The police caught two of the three that were in the car. The story is that one of them wanted to fight the other. Two got out and shot him nine times. Wow. Wow. It's, a shot. it's sad, isn't it? Cowards. Oh, Yeah, nice to see you still there, though, Jay. Nice to see you still there. The tide's well running now. Look, you can see it pulling those rods down. We'll have to see if they settle. One's the running leisure, the left-hand ones. That's going to be tricky. It's just rolling along the floor at the moment. But it doesn't matter. These, this tide here at the moment is good. Just need that to settle. Community song about the sib and fart box. Looking forward to getting out. Yeah, so am I. Just need that air temperature to pick up a little bit. Yeah, well, air and water would be great, but if once the temperature's up to about 15 degrees and on a calm night, we can head out. Then I'm not worried about losing my life as much. 16 year old, no longer alive. And the others threw their lives away, yeah. That's right, yeah, if you pull a trigger, you blow your own life away. As I was saying, we had that conversation the other day on here, actually. You know, people don't realise till they've pulled that trigger that they're blowing their life away as well. You know, guns are not the way forward. You know, it's all great when you've got one, you're walking around with it a while and that, as soon as you pull that trigger, two lives are gone. Ladies and gentlemen, right, a community song about fart box. And the sib, so that's the theme, ladies and gentlemen. We might not get long to do it, though, if the bite is still on and the big stuff's out there. We'll see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go tonight, community tune. Ladies and gentlemen, will we get a big bite soon? I don't know. I'd like to think so. But we'll see if there's a big bite out there. For you and me I don't know if it's scrolling Two seconds Yes it is Far bath, glass and mo Coming in soon Yes Jay Fantastic papers In the room Cause you are unbehavable Kabow, chickabow, wow You lose a fish You breathe and carry on Swifty, oh yeah a conga, 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 conga everywhere. The far box grease lightning. Come on, far box screaming reels. Oh, oh, oh. Farting on the sib and awkwardly looking round to see if anyone hurts. No more rope swings. While on the sib, no, that's true broken swing ching 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 little sip with a big engine called fart box yeah and jersey tx going for golds and catching conga eels and never get old fart box a legend mackerel chaser did i hear cheesy beans I think I did. Cheesy beans and hunting in the shadows. Chicka chicka ching. Hunting in the shadows while we sing. We're doing our thing.
psychedelic sips on the sea. <laughs> Willis number one. Thank you so much. Bass on the net on the way in. Drinking the petrol. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much indeed. Unbehavable, you absolute legend. Guys, absolutely incredible. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we're still getting loads of good bites. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the bite yeah, definitely feel off. Well, that's yeah. good. When you said you were coming down, I said to Jack today. Yes. I'll come down if you like you weren't oh, around. Sure. This is where I was going to come. Yeah, I yeah. Come here, and I thought, no, we're, 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 you, you were already out. You think if we, right we were out minutes before? You were ah, saying, no, right. We were getting like stuff in the car, and you, was, oh, you, was, you were going. Yeah, yeah. well, we was oh, going to okay. go. We was going to go leave beach, and then when we were sitting there, we were coming up here anyway. Yeah. We'll come out, we'll come out, I'll go out. And this is, uh, this is very well tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we had a couple of good bites. One, well, one, one point, I'm messing around watching you, and I had the rod scraped on the deck, wow. and I thought, whoe, hey, what's going yeah, on here? That's what just happened. That was the eel yeah. on there. Yeah, no, that was about... That was about... Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's all right, good land. Oh, OK. There's plenty of them around there. Yeah, I'll see if it's a land. Going out. Nice. We're looking for it. I'll probably hit this a few times. It's on fire at the minute. I mean, wow. Really fishing. Yeah, obviously we can't get out. We've got an audience. It's nice to see the views down there and that catching it. And the motivation. Yeah, exactly. That's it. 
wicked guys. No, thank you. Yeah, really don't jump, Will. Right, no, mate. no, yeah, don't grab, grab the foot. It's just right. the life out of me. Oh, is that yeah. the first time you guys have met? Yeah. Well, we've met a few, we've met a couple of times. I've met Lawrence once. We'll leave you all to it. Yeah, I think we might do your trick. It might be Ronald's. Ah, yes, to the McDonald's, guys. We'll see you later. Take care, guys, and thank you so much. Be good now. Don't catch anything too small. Of course. Take care, chaps. Thank you. Oh, lovely to see those guys in. All right, mate. I'll be honest, I was devastated to hear that they released their pout. I should have said, oh, keep holding the pout and we'll have them. Oh, I'm gutted about that. We could have chucked them in. Pout of deadlier at the minute. Mind you, hang on, what's that point there? Mind you, the baits were you. Oh! Oh, it's great. We're getting it all over the place, man. Another good hit there, guys. Another good hit there. Come on, fishy. Right, we're back up to full charge on the phone. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, guys. I need to send a message here quick. Absolutely incredible, the bite is still on. The bite is still on. Whew. Very exciting times here, ladies and gentlemen. As we are sitting, hang on, what was that? That looked a bit different. Dunno, dunno. Dunno, hang on, hang on, that looks a little bit different. Is there something sniffing at that bait again? See if he comes back in. The market's so hot tonight, I could feel the flames from here. It is rich, it is proper. We are getting some good hits. I've missed a couple, but the way it's going, it looks like we could get another opportunity here to land something half decent. I mean, I'm quite pleased with what we're leaving with so far, but you know, I'm, there's no point in me fretting over what we've lost. You know, they're gone. We can only hope that something else comes along and hits us. And at the way it's biting, it's all congers. They're hitting the baits that I've laid in for them. So, you know, like I say, we need a little bit of luck. And for what a big one to be attracted. But there's every chance of it at the minute by the look of it. Unbehavable the legend. Definitely something having a mooch. He was there. Yeah, there was definitely something having a look at that. It seems to have settled at the moment. But it's nice, I find when the tide starts running and those rods start pulling off to the right like they are now, well, we've, had, we've had some good bites at this stage of the tide before. So it's quite exciting as that water speeds up and rushes out. The fish seem to love it. Because it almost get, it's not a spring tide, but it starts running hard as if it's, you know, like a standard spring tide does. And you know the spring's fish good. Well, an hour after high tide here on the wall, whether it's a small tide or a big tide, it runs a lot harder, I find, than anywhere else. You do, mind you, you get quite a good pull on the hillhead wall, but I find this one is quite good an hour after any tide. And that's what we've got here at the moment. It's pulling quite nicely. Really hope you and Gary get into something huge. Gary's just lost a big one, which I'm not pleased to see, but it, it, um, it's good that it's not just me. <laughs> it's not just me. It's nice when there's other fishermen alongside because it gives us a comparison. 
so you know I can see that those big ones are tricky because Gary's lost a good one I've lost one that was hooked and we've had a very good bite which I, as I say I suspect is a bass or a smooth hound as someone suggested quite possibly it would have been a decent sized one if it was it's great JJ isn't it tonight it's great because the, the, it feels like the the potential is still there you know as opposed to a really slow night you know where we hope for the bite and you know I'm still quite excited I feel like it's still on Jason Rosam is there lovely to see you joining us here tonight thank you so much indeed thank you yeah a lot of reliable net man between you you'll need it there and I hope it happens yeah I was gutted when I lost that first fish there I thought that was gonna set the precedent for the evening you know and we were gonna struggle all night but I'm glad to see that we've landed two congas so we've lost a few but the rigs are working we've landed a couple so that's two more than we usually land because we, we, we usually bring in a smashed up rig and the congas are gone but that really long snood is doing the job they can't spin it up they can't spin it right up so it's we're, we're landing them before they've got a chance to spin the reel up and, and get it in i have changed that left down rig to a, a running leisure again if they start spinning up it will spin onto mainline won't be able to completely spin it up and that's worked we've had a fish on that so i find with these congas it's all about there not being a point where the rig can stop you know so it, on a short snood they they spin up and then it stops at the swivel you know the snood stops at the swivel and then they've got the taut the, the like the give they need to spin that hook out their mouth but if we can put something on there that there's no resistance they just keep spinning up you know it gives us time to get to the rod before the rig bites and they can get their their hook out because they just spin off the hook they're quite smart they know which way to spin to remove that hook you know it can't be a fluke that they're doing it every time they know they know which way to spin to get that hook out and yeah the, the longer snoods have definitely given us the chance here tonight the only fish we've landed are, are the fish we came for oh gary's oh you're right gary is it a good one it's got a bend in the rod Half cut, been to Darren's wake, yes. A doggy, okay, mate. Yeah, wicked, Jason. Ah, oh, hopefully it went all right, you know. A good celebration of his life. Yeah, terrible, that, terrible. Yeah. Rowdy Royal joins us. How you doing all right? Big Fish Energy sent your way, Rowdy Royal. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you, we'll take that big fish energy and we'll channel it towards them rods there in the hope of something decent it's 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 on fire here though it, this it'll probably be fishing quite good all the way along the deeper waters here so gill kickers probably fishing really well um gaffers right up to gaffers probably start slowing off along sort of from stokes stokes bay up through to the arcades and along but up this end of the water, in the deeper water, and the faster running stuff, I reckon up to gaffers, between gaffers and here, this will be fishing really well. So we'll have a choice of either ear gaffers or kicker, I think, to, to land this 20 that we're after. We've got to hit them hard, we've got to hit them hard. Back to back sessions on this deep water mark here, while they're here. And while they're biting so readily, we had a good fish on earlier. I felt the weight of it was beautiful. They are there. Absolutely stunning. Just 
waiting for another take of one of them rods. Come on, fish. Do it. Gary returns the dogfish to the depths as we wait for another big take on these rods or just a sign that something's sniffing around the bait. It's great to see the dogfish leaving the baits alone though. That's all those decent large baits and hooks. The word snood. It is a funny word, Jay. Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah, snood. There are two types of snood in the UK. There's the snood that goes around your neck, which is a like a scarf sort of thing. You know, it's a neck warmer, but they call it a snood. It's great when you're out on the boats, you know, and it's a bit chilly and you're motoring into the wind and you put your snood up. And, and motor, motorbikes use them as well. They're snood when you've got the half helmet on, you know, the half one with no chin, the one that breaks the jaw when you crash. People put the snood up on there. Yeah, and then you've got the, the snood for a line. The snood uh, for the, um, the hook length. On your rigs. Snood, well, I mean, it'd be snood not to, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> we got a catchy fish here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be snood not to. <laughs> Waiting for another tippy tappy. There is just a period of quiet between the last bite and this one that's extended here at the moment, but. The chance is still there. Jason's still getting bites from dogs over there. If the dogs are there, the congas are there. So I'm confident. I can hear whistling coming from my right hand side. I assume Gary is on his way back through. He is, there he is. There's a guy fishing next to your car, he's just caught a nice conga. Has he? How big was it? I say. Mate, there's congas everywhere, aren't there? No. What what did he say? He just said he's caught he's a nice yeah, one. He just said he's had a nice conga. Really? And he did. He and wouldn't he give you the nice weight. Really? Stayed to look at it. I didn't want to put him under pressure. And he wouldn't tell you how big the conga was. No, I didn't ask. You didn't ask, Gary. It's all about how big the conga was. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's just know. had a nice conga up the wall there. Should yeah, be. it's conga haven here. Now you won't want bites from the dogs. Well, no, ironics. Unbehavable. I can recommend Buff, who makes snoots. We used to sell them at snowboard shop. Great for fishing. Thank you, Unbehavable. Right, Gary's just returned with the uh, info that a lad on the wall has just had a nice conga. They are all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. But he didn't ask him how big it was, ladies and gentlemen. And he had a nice bite while Gary... Hang on, what was that? That's right, I thought something bumped to our left hand rod there. Just keeping an eye on it. I thought there was a little bump there on that. Is it going to come back round? Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Is that hold up? I think that there is, there is.
Yeah. I think a method that would be great would be three rods. I don't do three rods, but I think three rods, one rod out with ragworm baits to catch pout or whiting, and then two rods to bait them on, to get pout on. Because that pout only add to it, they were both absolutely fantastic and then it was gone. I think if we'd have had pout here tonight, it would have been a game changer. Glad I brought one along with me actually tonight. Uh, no, it's all right, Gary, it's okay. Not tonight. I, I, the, the time to chuck them would have been just the hour before I tied, I reckon. Fishing a match tomorrow evening until midnight. Can drop you off some pout if I catch. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'll take any pout, Glenn. Absolutely. Yeah, if you get some, mate, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I'll whack them in the freezer. At the moment, the big conger are here and they are hammering the pout. I mean, I've had two, I don't know if you saw it, but man, I, I lost a good fish. He was, he was hooked as well. He was hooked, but he, he came off. And then um, we had a massive hit that looked like a bass, but either way, it was a huge hit. It could have been a conger. It definitely wasn't a dogfish. I nearly took the rods in. But that, so the two hits the pal adds, yeah, was, were absolutely amazing. Oh, hang on, hit on the right, hit on the right, hit on the right hand rod. Hit on the right hand rod, hit on the right hand rod. I had a word with myself there. I was like, calm down, don't hit it, don't hit it, let it, you know, let it develop, don't hit it. Radio Stotis is back in the house. How you doing? It's been ages. What have you been up to? How's the station going, all right? That is a legitimate radio station right there, ladies and gentlemen. How's it been going? Pause the sea fishing, gone very quiet this end. Well done on your, on your fish though you've had a conger haven't you up there we've just had another bite here it has gone quiet but the the hits should get so should be good when they come squid and mackerel baits in should bring something it'll pick up again once this initial run of the tide's gone it just it depends how long you want us to be out for i'm loving it here at the moment absolutely loving it the, the, the potential is going to be there for this entire tide to catch a good fish and we're only four hours in and it's only 11 o'clock you know i want to be here to at least one half one be packed down for about two we got loads of time we're going to be here for when that tide slows up a bit so while it's running hard like this we've got a chance of a really big fish but uh, when it slows down there'll be more fish and uh, it will just be a bit harder to get into the big ones, but we'll certainly start catching again. Just dogfish. Ah, oh, just next to, next to the lads near the rocks. Apparently, the lads at the rocks have had a good fish, Portsmouth. Would you mind asking them how big their conga was they caught? You don't have to. I'm just being nosy, and if you don't want to, it's absolutely fine. But apparently, they caught a nice conga. Now that tell that smacks of like ten pound plus to me, because usually where people catch a congo, it's a nasty snot eel. 
you know, just caught a nasty snot eel. But you know, when you hear someone say, yeah, just caught a nice conger, you know, you don't hear that very often. Radio Stotis, you catch. Yeah, we've caught two conger eels. You know, we should have had a few more than that, really. We've had a lot of opportunity here to, to get some good fishing so far. So far, I mean, there's still a good chance. And we've just had a little tap there a second ago. Just got to leave the baits there and not be tempted to move them and do what would be perceived as freshening them up. You know, they, they, they need to stay right there till something finds them. They're perfect baits. We just need that massive hit. While that tide's pulling those lines like that as well, it'll help set the hook on them. They're nice and tight. Whistle, Dean. What's happening, was it Whistle? Right, everyone, I'm off to bed. Catch next one. Okay, mate. Take care, man. Be safe. Thank you. And we'll see you on the next one. Hey, well, I'm going to be buying nearly £200 worth of carp gear on the 11th, so I have my own gear and all that. All right, fair enough. That's brilliant. I mean, fantastic. Hopefully you'll get to use it as well. Awesome. Right, hang on. We've had a super chat. A, hyper ch uh, a super chat. Yeah, super chat. Radio Stottis, you absolute legend. It's not going to let me put a heart on it. I'm trying. It does let me sometimes, but it's not having it today. Radio Stottish, Stottish is a bit here. Thank you so much indeed. It's, I've got to be careful here or it's going to accidentally end the live. And I don't want to do anything that messes it up. It's not going to let me eat like it or put a heart on it. I am sorry. Radio, thank you so much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Radio Stottis. Hang on, with an amazing super chat here tonight, you absolute legend. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, thank you so much indeed. You absolute legend. Not out for too much longer, but can I ask where I leave for you, mate? Do you mean Bates? Are you, can I ask where I leave for you? What are you leaving for me? Are you looking to leave bait for me? Is that what you mean? Radio DJ, you legend. Oh, hang on. Absolute legend. Don't panic. Don't panic. No panic. He asks the lads about the conger as he leaves the wall. Ah! Thank you. Got ya. How did you understand that? And I did. Not out for too much longer, but can ask as I leave for ya. Right, got ya. Oh, okay. Wow, well done. You read that in a fantastic context. Uh, we did, Gary, but the whistle is like firebox. Good luck. Radio Stoys, thank you so much indeed. You absolute superstar. Thank you so much, you absolute legend. 297 likes here. Amazing support, guys. We are not plotting, Dean. I will have the whistle. That should be a whistle. <laughs> Gary's good. What, you want me to blow the whistle, ladies and gentlemen? Is that what you're saying? You want me to blow the whistle? Anyways, I'm off. Go drink a nice Italian-style coffee with a carrot cake and Belgian chocolate flapjack. Well, I'll have you on the background, as I always do, mate. Stick Fisherman, thank you so much indeed for joining us here. Have a great evening, all right? And thank you. And we'll see you again, all right? We'll see you again, hopefully. You take it easy, man. And be safe, all right? No, <laughs> no. Oops, Fissile. It's a legend, but it's right. <laughs> Do it, Will. I like the whistle. <laughs> so I won't blow it in a minute because I know there's 
overwhelming against overwhelming against 300 likes guys guys you absolute legends oh top fishing oh guys amazing oh, it's let me I like that one because I didn't have to scroll down to like it it's when I have to scroll down it doesn't let me like guys amazing be here again if you're live tomorrow stick fisherman oh I'll definitely be live tomorrow we've got a massive conger eel to catch ladies and gentlemen we will definitely be here tomorrow if we don't get it tonight. Guys, amazing. What was I going to do? We had a, did we, have, hang on, I've got, oh, 300 likes, that was it. Guys, thank you for 300 likes, you absolute legends. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And we also had an amazing super chat from Top Fishing Blokes. You absolute legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Top Fishing Blokes, an amazing super chat. Thank you so much indeed. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Guys, you legend. Stick Fisherman, we'll see you tomorrow, all right? Take care, man. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jersey, you legend. Thank you, guys. Absolutely amazing. Um, Guys, I just need to send a quick message. I need to send a quick message. Two seconds. I've just remembered something. Right, but I've got to keep an eye on them rods. Two seconds, guys. Oh, why is it not letting me into my messengers? Oh, I did this the other day. Right, hold up, guys. My messenger's just frozen. Two seconds. Oh, you pain. Guys, thank you so much indeed. Top fishing blokes, please do pick a super chair subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. I don't know what's wrong with my messenger. What's going on with the numbers, guys? What's happening? Gary the Garfish. What's <laughs> Gary the Garfish? Where did that come from? Oh, get right and right. Thank you, you legend. Top fishing blokes, Gary the Garfish. I was unbehavable gone to bed. Unbehavable, take care, mate. Sorry, I was looking down my phone. Where are you? Where are you? I'm just going to... Oh, have a great night, guys. I'm going to Peak District in four hours. Need to seize. Unbehavable, thank you so much for being there tonight. Hopefully we haven't kept you up too long and you won't be shattered tomorrow. You're legend. Thank you so much. Gary the Garfish. Let me just tune the guitar quick, guys. Yes, you did hear your name. Someone has just done a super chat and the song they've requested, I'm sure it's not actually you, but it's Gary the Garfish. Gary the Garfish? Gary the Garfish. So the song that's just coming up is Gary the Garfish, ladies and gentlemen. How nice. So top fishy blokes, this is your song, Gary the Garfish. Oh, I paid a tackle and bait when I am king. Surely I would need a queen and the planets and everything. Yeah, yeah. And now I am king and my dream will come at dawn. She'll be waiting in Kingston Town. Josie TX, the legends. I'm just swimming round 
on this rather rocky grounds. I don't know why I swim around the sea beds and I've got these strange thoughts going round in my head. I should be walking on the land, but the other fish just don't understand. They say, Gary, listen to this. I swim away and they call over. They say, Gary, you're a garfish. And I say, no. Dry land is where I need to go. They say, Gary, you'll be caught on the floats. Those kind of hooks that get stuck in your throats. I say, no, I'm going on a mish. They say, you can't walk on dry land. Gary, you're a garfish. And I say, no, you're taking the mickey out of me. I'm swimming free. This is my make-a-wish That you no longer call me Gary the Garfish Open up my tidy hands As I walk out from the sea onto the lands Then all of the other Garfish will understand I'm not a garfish, I'm a man And that is my plan Dreaded Angler, you absolute legend. Lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Gary the garfish Hayley thank you so much indeed bravo bravo top fishing blokes you are a legend thank you so much indeed yeah that was the story of the journey of Gary the garfish who you know he didn't want to be a garfish you know he didn't want to be a garfish you know it's sort of like a Pinocchio type thing you know, he wanted to be a real boy of well a real fish a real person you know, and I, ironically, he had a big old nose, a bit like Pinocchio as well, because he was garfish, wasn't he? He wanted to be a starfish, that's it. <laughs> he wanted to be a starfish. Guys, thank you so much indeed. Absolute legends. Bite's gone a little bit quiet here. We need to see some tippy tappy. I wonder if they're still getting bites to our left. Ooh. Dreaded Angler, thank you so much indeed. How's it going this evening? It's we, It's been a mixed bag of ups and downs. We've landed a couple of fish, the target species, you know, straps, but we've also missed one very, very good fish and had a cracking bite on another one. So we we came so close to, to actually achieving, I, I suspect, what was a double figure fish. I mean, I felt the fight from it. It was, it was a big fish, and it got off. Uh, Gary's just reeling in a fish down here by the look of it. Hang on, is he? N oh, what's that? Is that a fish? Oh no, it's a bait. Oh, that was a knock on a set of bells there, though. So the fish is still there. Bells are going off over there. Dread, uh, did you use the? Um... Yeah, I am using the new rig, and it's been successful because we've landed a couple of straps. I think on the other rigs, we'd have just brought in smashed up rigs. So yes, they're working. So the new rigs were basically extended, um, extended lines. Uh, I'm not gonna move the baits. So I know there's the washed out ferry, but 
No, I'm leaving them there. The congas won't turn their nose up at that bait. They're absolutely fine. As soon as the fish finds them baits, it's going to go. Play the tackle of bait. Cheer up, sleepy Jess. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it be to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Here we go, and a cake now. Nice. Gary, the garfish catching fish. No, it's Gary the Mod catching fish, ladies and gentlemen. But no, I would I would have checked the baits if we'd have been having tippy tappy and not catching fish, but we haven't had a bite and that tells me the fish ain't there. But when they are there, they will hit the baits. I've only heard one bell go over there. So I, I know our baits are fine because if if their bells were going off over there constantly and we weren't getting touched, we need a bait change. But I've literally heard their bell just go once then. So it's not the baits. If the fish were there, those baits would be getting hammered. But they're not. But when they come back in, they'll be hammered. They will be hammered. Yeah, he's just reeling in a rod Dale, Jason is. Yeah, he's just not taking his bell off. So he's bringing his rod in. It's Jason with the rod with the bells on. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? The tide is starting to slow up a bit, so we should see some fish moving in soon. So when the tide's running really hard, the lines are pulled tight almost permanently now it's slowing up you can see them starting to nod backwards and forwards where the pull of the tide isn't just leveling them so the tide's slowing up now because we've got movement in the tip ring ring my bell dude it was too cold out there for you tonight jackie oh jackie didn't check the weather before he went out yeah it was plummeting from double temp figures in the day to seven degrees at night so with the wind chill you're talking four four degrees so it's a night for fully wrapping up so i'm wearing all my thermal gear i am fully padded up tonight i haven't needed my coat yet which is good but because i've got my thermal undersuit on but yep tonight was definitely one of them nights where you want to wrap up be the same tomorrow as well so we're looking at seven degrees, like I say, with a wind chill of about four. That is cold. Yo! You, you got, oh nice. Oh, hang on, they've caught a white in lads and ladies. Now we'll change the bait. Wicked, man. <laughs>
Cheers for that, mate. Cheers for that. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow, huge waves. This could be a game changer here, guys.
Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is definitely the place to be, ladies and gentlemen. Resar joins us. If there's any specimen hunters watching and you get a night off tomorrow, this is the place to be. Honestly, it's amazing. And the has the wall so big, you know, you could get 50 anglers all the way along, you know. Plenty of room, plenty of opportunity for anyone for a good fish. This is the place to be. Like I say, between here and Gaffers, where the water's sort of deeper and a bit faster, it's going to be some big old fish around. Uh, Reese, back in the house. Reese, how you doing, mate? Lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here this evening as we fish the Azu La Wall, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let me just send a message. Send that one right, my messenger's working now. It weren't working a minute ago. So we've got a whiting out there. It's not a pout, but it'll do. It's a similar species. It's a winter fish. And I think as the pouting and whiting are thinning out, it seems, those congas will be snapping up the remaining ones. You're moving home, decorating and trying to rest my fractured ankle, making it hard work. Yes, ouch. Ouchie, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, as we fish here tonight, hoping for tippy tappy. Keeping our fingies crossed here tonight. Yeah, wig, my PB is 53 pound, admittedly, on the boat in New Haven. But your 20 on the beach was a great watch. And was a defrosted pot of manky mackerel. Nice. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, whatever they'll hit is good. As long as you can land them. We've struggled here a bit tonight, landing them. But it's made for a good session. And... The promise is there. Oh, hang on, what was that? I thought something tapped our right hand rod there. Did something just arrive at that? Maybe, I don't know, hang on. Is there something trying to pull that right hand rod? I know there's a bit of tide. I thought something else might have had a go. It doesn't look like it now. No, it might have just been the tide. Yeah, been all right, Reese. Yeah, we've had a fun session. The promise has been there. It looked like it was the hour just before I tide where we had the biggest hits. We haven't seen a really big one since. So it's bang on I tide thereabouts. Hang on, I can hear a bell going over there. Oh, I think it's just... Jason changing his baits. That temperature is dropping a bit now though as we go towards midnight. So I'm gonna get into my coat. Did I bring my jacket? Yes, there it is. Right, I'm just gonna get my coat on, guys. As due as I'm here, Reese, yeah. Yeah, I reckon when the tide slows a bit, it will We'll get another hit. I say when it gets a bit slower, the fish will increase in number. Again, that wind's picking up though, bringing with it some proper chill. Gary's off down the wall. Is he bringing a fish in? 
You got a fish, Gary? Okay. Did he say he thinks so? I'm not sure. Hang on, let's have a look. No, it's coming in too easy. It's coming in a bit too easy. I don't know though, there's a little. Looks like there's a bit of pull as he gets closer. What was that? Yay! Gary has a strap. Jason, sorry, Jason's caught a strap. Jason's just caught a strap, so they are still in front of us. G Ginger Billy, just watching some of his videos. Cracks me up so funny. Ginger Billy, no. Ebony and Ivory living together in perfect harmony, side by side. I am not sure of that one. Keyboard, oh Lord, why don't we? It rings a bell, that lyric. Great song and meaning, Jersey knows it. Lawrence is off to bed. Lawrence, take care, mate. Be safe. Thank you for joining us here. As we see a strap conga pulled up to our left. So everyone's catching congas. Oh, no, it's got Jason in a bit of trouble there, that one. Oh, it's back in, that's it. Everyone's catching conger eel at the wall. There's loads of them around. That was the smallest one I've seen tonight, though, that Jason's just had. That was a little problem child, those ones. They're a nightmare. A sort of European eel size, you know. It's a conger line. Yeah, it's a conger line. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on and do the conga. Yeah, well done to Gary there as he pulls in a strap conga reel. So everyone this side of the wall has had a conga. Up to and this end, it seems. So, right, so we'll see what we can do. That's okay, Monster on the way to Will's line, Jersey TX. Yes, right hand rod just had a nudge there. That was a bit different from the tide. Just keep an eye on that sec. Doesn't look like it's come back. Just getting little bumps here and there. There's a big wave on the way, so both of them should go in a second. Just up and down as that wave comes in. Yeah, we've, we've got a whiting bait out on the left and I've just put a squid out on the right again. So those are two good baits. Strap conger's out there still, so... Oh, we won't get a strap conger on the whiting. Or a pout bait. That, that, you know, that's going to be a good calibre of fish that hits those. But that right hand rod there, we could pick up another little one on that. Or a big one. But I'm hoping to see a bit more action on those rods shortly. I mean, it picked up again just as we were leaving yesterday at the bass mark, but that was around about sort of midnight. We're almost at that point now, so hopefully the bite will pick up again. Last like I say, I want to go till about one o'clock here tonight. I've just reduced the time a little bit because if it doesn't pick up, you know, then we'll leave at one. But if we start seeing some big bites between now and then, we'll see if we can push it to half past. But obviously, if the bite has stopped and there's nothing happening between now and one o'clock, then we want to get the batteries home, charge them up because we are going to be back targeting the big stuff tomorrow. We just got to hope that luck's with us. Do you know, I'm sort of kicking myself. We deep hooked that first Kong reel and I swapped all the rigs to pulley rigs and missed every bite. So I think the secret tomorrow will be just coming back with bigger, well, not bigger, bigger than the initial conga we lost. 
but we're not, I've upgraded the hooks, so we've landed two fish on the upgraded ones. Uh, hang on, no. We've had one on the smaller rig and one on the bigger rigs. So I think we need to come back tomorrow with the bigger rigs. So we don't deep hook any. There's about three nights where the tides are just right. So um, the latest one we're going to have is one o'clock. So it's 10 o'clock high tonight, or at roughly around 10 o'clock. So say roughly 11 tomorrow, roughly 12 the next day, roughly one o'clock the next day, and then the tide starts to get a bit too late for us. So we've got three nights. Here, here. Yeah, smashed us up. We got smashed up there, guys.
Right, we were just smashed to bits there. So the rig came in completely smashed to bits. It's congas all the way. Crazy. We haven't had a dogfish bite here. Congas all the way smashing the squid and mackerel combos. Oh well, straight squid at the moment. Our mackerel, we're out of mackerel. Not that it matters, squid's the one. A little bit of squid attached to any bait will do it. But just mackerel's really good for it as well. Mackerel and squid, just great. Have you used cuttlefish? No. It's a good, good shout there. Yeah, no, I haven't. I, I, I don't know, actually, saying that, I think we have. With some success as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have used cuttlefish, yeah. I've got a load of cuttlefish as well. The trouble is the mess it makes, the oil, it gets under your nails and your fingers and you got dirty black hands for days and it just... I love cuttlefish as a bait, but it's just nasty. Nasty, the black ink on your hands and that. And then, you know, you try and scrub, you need one of those like br bottle brush sort of scrubby, styly things to scrub your fingers. Ugh. Or you got to wear gloves to chop it up and bait it, and it's that's all. The cuttlefish that I catch myself are all right, but the ones I buy in the bag, they're all just black and covered in ink, you know, and just, oh, they've got the whole ink with them. Do other kinds of eels try to bite like congas do? Uh, yeah, I think they do. Morays are the worst. The more I hear was the will actively seek to bite you. Congas, I don't think they're as bad. I think a conger is just unlucky. They swing their heads around with their mouth open and and if you get a digit in there and it it'll just close its mouth as a natural reaction. I don't think they actually seek to bite you. They just, it's just unfortunate. Some of them come up with their mouths clamped shut and some of them come up with them open. You know, and, and it if they just happen to have your digits in their gob when they close it, you're in trouble. I mean, I've never had a conga actively try to bite me. But, oh, oh, oh.
the pin's just broken out of the handle of that reel. So I've had to cut a bit of wire out of one of the leads and feed it through there to hold it on for a minute. I've got a spare reel at home. A loose bail arm which can be tightened now. Now the pin's broken out the middle of it. So um, it's just shattered into three bits. One, one of the bits was still in there. I mean, I can see what's happened, it's just sheared off. So, um, yeah, I've put a, uh, which reel? The right-hand one. <laughs> it's the, um, yeah, the right-hand one on the on rhubarb at the minute. It's, uh, oh, it's a Surf 8K. Surf 8K. So, uh, Akuma Surf 8K. So it needs a new arm. So it shouldn't be too hard to replace. Let me let me look. Let me Google them. Because I, I don't think I'll be able to just get the pin for it. It's a, but let's have a look. Surf, eight K, bail, arm, pin. Well, is that the one you noticed last night? You said you had to get checked out. No, it's not, which is worrying. So I think they're both on their way out. Parts are starting to fail on both of them. Oh, 8K parts list, here we go. Oh, it's bail arm support pin. For a mine. Oh, that's all right, I've got a spare one at home, Rids. I've got a spare one, but thank you. I've got I've got one at home. Oh, oh, you can buy them. Hang on. Bail arm slider support pin. Akuma. Slider bail arm. Right, hang on. To be honest, the the bit of wire I've just stuck through it will do. For now, but. Oh, no, I need to quickly grease the other one before that goes. I mean, it's probably already corroding. Oh, it looks like something that, that's... Another strap. Nice. Same one. <laughs> Gary's just had another one. Uh, Thank you, Rids. Thank you. 88. 89.99 in my shop. Yeah, that's for the whole reel. Yeah, yeah. I just need the pin. Bail arm support pin. There is a code for it here. Yeah, so let me. I'm just going to copy and paste that code pin. That code a second. Hang on. Cheaper to buy two new reels. I've had four years out of mine and both are still okay. Getting tired. Cheaper to buy new reels? Nah. Nah, the, the pin's going to be about three quid. Two new reels, 170 quid plus. I've had those reels less than a year. And I wipe them down by hand every time I use them. So they sh it shouldn't have... They shouldn't have failed. Just a weak pin. Or I'll just buy a new bail arm. Uh, not a bail arm. It's not the bail arm, actually. It's the reel. Um, sorry, the, um, the handle. Pin. Yo! What's up, mate? You alright? Yeah, I'm just checking out this little cold, this little strap. Yeah. 
Oh, look, it's been attacked by something. Oh, it? yeah, big teeth marks oh. in it on the way. Yeah, yeah, bigger congas. That's a... a uh. Oh, there. that's squid. That's squid? Yeah, that's a squid bite, that is. Wow. Squid bite? Yeah, it's a squid. Classic squid. Yeah, he's taking a bite out of each side. Yeah, that's the squid said that. Yeah, we thought it'd be a bigger conga that had it. Nah, that's squid. Oh, we're chuck him back. All right, mate. Awesome. You had any more bites, Will? Um, yes. I just had a rattle a second ago, but my bail arms just broke. Oh, no. That's right, Jay. Yeah, they get beaten up where you're out every night. Yeah. Yeah. Not my bail arm, sorry, the handle pin has come out. So I'm just going to have a look at if I can replace the handle. Oh, uh, okay. That's uh, right, it's just a pin come out. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, it's an 8K surf handle assembly. Right, hang on. Yeah, there we go. 11 quid. Right, I'm just gonna order a new one. There you go, 11 quid. Oh, hang on, that was a bite on the right hand rod there. So that's just saved me over 160 quid, essentially. Here we go. I can send you the handle off my one. No, Raymond, no, don't worry about that. Most parts are getting very worn. Sorry, Will. No, you're all right. Yeah, I get the thing is, I do do it every night, you know, so they are getting smashed up. You know, I guess once a week over four years, I guess I'd probably do four years worth of fishing in, in you know, eight months, you know, for of, of an average span of a reel. If someone's fishing once a week or once every two weeks, they're gonna last a long time. But yeah, every night they're just getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. And to be fair, it's only the smallest component of them that's gone. But Raymond, thank you. It's okay, mate. I've ordered another one. Just ordered the art the the, the um the a new handle. And I've actually got another 8K spare. So I do need to replace. What I'll do is I'll put the dodgy one in the shop for a, a makeover and I'll use the spare that I've got at home for a while. Oh, hang on, it's not letting me. Oh, I've got to continue with Google to buy it. Right, hang on. I didn't complete the purchase, so that would have been a surprise when it didn't turn up. Oh, another bite on the right again. Another bite on the right. Uh, 11.98. Which ain't bad, really. That's good. There we go. He's having a look. I'm not going to be too hasty to run over to it because I've seen the size of the straps that 
Jason, Jason's pulled out. <laughs> so we, there might be just a couple of little ones having a go at the moment. But that tide's slowing and the bite's picking up again. There we go. As expected, ladies and gentlemen. We're seeing more tippy tappy. Here we go. He's getting keen. He's getting keen, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting keen. Still hitting it. So from the moment I've seen that bite, this is all letting it develop. So I just want to point that out. So I've been letting this bite develop for a good couple of minutes now. So I haven't run over to it and hit it and We're letting it develop. Uh, at the price of uh, pick up two, mate, when you can carry a spare. You've obviously found the weak point. Thank you. No, no, I'm going to replace the handle on one and then put the other one in the shop for a repair. So then the, so I'll still have two perfectly good reels. Just looked at the clock when you said 11.98, thinking you were sort of out of time, then realised, yeah, there is no 98 on the clock. Sometimes I wonder how I survived on this planet for so long. <laughs> Yeah, it's alright guys, it's okay, it's just a handle replacement, it's no problem, I'll get it replaced. I'll grease the other one up just in case. I'm just glad it didn't go when we had a decent fish on. I mean, we had a bite there, but I don't know how good the fish was. I didn't feel no hit like real pull down or on it or anything, but either way it was gone when I went to bring it up. But yeah, the reels are definitely struggling at the moment with all the uh, abuse they're going through. I don't really want to replace them, not at the cost of the reels, no way. No way, Jose. I only recently got the multipliers back from the shop. They're in perfect condition, ready for when the sib comes out. So, I mean, these reels will get a break when the sib comes out, but that's not going to be for another couple of weeks, at least. Because then we'll be back on the multis and we'll hardly be doing the beach then. Oh, well, depending on the weather. Hopefully this summer's going to be a bit better than the last one we've had. Otherwise, we could well be hitting the beach a lot. But yeah, those reels are getting abused. Daydream believer and a homecoming queen. Cheer up, sleepy jean. Oh, what can it mean to a Daydream believer and a homecoming queen. Scoobity boobity boopty boopty boo do kick do, 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 do is all that breaks the silence. Highways cut and scars across the land. I do think factory testing put reels through what you put yours through, Will. No, William. No, no, we hammer ours. <laughs> we have decent working reels, though, mate. Uh, everyone would change the fishing line if it had a nick or weak point in it. But when it comes to replacing reels, that's a huge expense that stops us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we ain't we ain't replacing the reels. No way. I'll get them in and do a little service at home. And then one's got to go in the shop anyway because I've noticed an issue with it. But no, we, we won't be replacing them. 
I've got a spare at home. So I'll just bring a spare out and put one in for fixing at the shop. If they do fix spools, that is. I know they do multis. I don't know if they do fix spools. Here we go. Sponsor offers any time now, Will. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm avoiding sponsorship, guys, to be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to avoid any old sponsorship. I think we're doing all right, you know, as, as, as the channel is. You know, without the sort of pressure of needing to get sponsors on at the moment. But then, you know, I don't really understand sponsorship because I've never been in a position to have, like, proper sponsorship, you know. So it could be that someone comes along and says, oh, we want to sponsor you, and then we cut a deal that works or something like that, you know. But I don't know how it works. All, I've, all I know of sponsorship from being quite small time in the end, like before, is someone who does LEDs has probably said, oh, I'll sort you out a load of LEDs free if you use them on your channel, you know, and that's sort of considered sponsorship. We've got a lead sponsor. So we chuck his leads out and shout him on the channel and we get free leads. But you know, that's not the sort of deal we want because we, we get leads everywhere. I've got tons of leads in my shed, you know. But, um, so that's really, you're doing a favor for someone, you're shouting their leads. But you know, as far as proper sponsorship, you know, like Formula One sponsorship and that, that could get you into millions and millions of pounds and that, you know, I don't know nothing about that sort of sponsorship. But if someone rocked up and said, oh, we'll cut a deal and this is it, you know, you're gonna get a party boat out of it, you know, because that will benefit everyone on the channel and us massively, I'd probably might consider something like that. But I don't know, I don't think we'll get too much sponsorship. As I say, that thing that happened with the IFCU with the bass, uh, you know, I don't, I think that that severely damaged any chance of us getting a reputable, um, a reputable backing. I think that stripped us of that. Because no one's gonna wanna sponsor a guy who's been done by the IFCU for taking bass. So, uh, yeah, I think they completely destroyed any hope of that for us. You know, until it happens one day, we'll see. But I think that that is a massive, that what they, I don't think that they realized the impact of what they did on the back of me just making a mistake. Yeah, so, um, but we'll see. Maybe one day it'll happen, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe one day we'll get lucky. It sounds good to be good to be true, and it usually is. Yes, you do brilliant on your own. Yeah, I quite like the way it is at the minute, you know. I brought an Akios Gov G8 reel, 150, use it six times, arm went. Got it, never used it again, right. Wow. Oh, so it's a, it is a common thing then, the arm getting damaged. Yeah. Gary's getting tippy-tappy over there. Gary's getting tippy-tappy. Oh, Jay, really? Wow. Mate, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. You absolute star. How about that, guys? Oh, man. Jay, thank you. You absolute legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Sparky has put 12 quid 
in the PayPal to pay for the bail arm. Jay, thank you so much indeed, man. That is very kind of you. And it does, it helps a great deal. It just takes the weight off of needing to replace the arm. But thank you so much. See, the money that we do get for the channel does go back into that sort of thing. That's what I do with it. It all goes back in. But thank you, that just helps a great deal as well. So thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Jay Sparky of Local Marts Fishing. Thank you, Jay, thank you. Thank you, man, that's very kind of you. You, you have indeed helped, thank you very much. Thank you, so that's a great thing to do, man. Wicked, Jay Sparky, you legend. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, mate. Thank you very much indeed. I'll take both of those reels home tonight. And have a look at them. See if I can get them all oiled and greased up before tomorrow night. I left it like well, I'll have to replace the one with a broken arm for the spare. I'm just not sure how big the braid is on the other one. Well, we had a, a reel donated with a ton of braid on it. Amazing, really. Right, a very nice. Oh, hang on. What, what was that on the left hand rod there? With the whiting on. I thought there was a bump on that then. Was that a bump on that reel? Not sure. Jay, thank you. Absolutely amazing. So I thought I saw a bump on the reel. And the right hand one. Incredible guys, amazing. Kayak Dangler UK's in the house, how you doing? You alright? How's it going? Thank you for joining us here this evening. We've, uh, well, I missed a good fish earlier. Kayak Dangler. And we had a lovely bite that nearly pulled the rods in. If they weren't secured by that post in front of us, they would have gone by that sign. We had a really good hit. Looked like a big bass had hit them and tried to make off with a bait. Yeah, very good hit indeed. Caprock H is in the house. The legend. The legend himself is there. Jersey TX. Ladies and gentlemen, just back from a session, seven or so dogfish. Yeah, a few dogs about. Quite a few dogs out there at the moment, as you have discovered tonight. We're quite lucky up this end at the moment. There seems to be a lot of big fish around. We missed the opportunity tonight, I think. I'm starting, I think it might not happen. We'll support your local tackle shop as my hobby has no local shops because of the internet. Wow. Support your local tackle shop. Keith, I think I understand what you're saying. I ordered that bail arm online and I should be supporting my local tackle shop. Let me tell you, mate. My local tackle shop has no end of support from me, mate. Honestly. They get a lot of support from what I do. So buying one bail arm online is nothing, mate. Honestly. I go out of my way to support my local tackle shop, so that don't even come into it. I need that bail arm replaced immediately. So I've had to order it here now. And that is the only reason, because that is essential and I need it ordered immediately. And my shop doesn't open till tomorrow at 9 a.m., which will put another day on top of the arrival. And they'll, they'll probably have to order it from a a company that will tell me it'll arrive in three weeks whereas I've just ordered it from a shop and it'll probably be here either tomorrow or the next day regards sponsorship 
No, they support. No, no. Support your local tackle shop as my hobby has no local shops because of the internet. He's making the point regarding sponsorship. But you said support the local tackle shop. Well, you want me to sponsor them? Philbert is there, yes. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, you said we'll support your local tackle shop. Yeah, we do loads for the tackle shop. I love, I do support the tackle shop. I love my tackle shop. JJ's in Gosport, they're brilliant. We're forever doing stuff with them. They're brilliant. But I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, I just did a video for them actually, which is, it's had 2,000 views already, that video. The one on the crabs that I did for them. And I've put posts up on Instagram and all that sort of stuff, and actually on the channel supporting them. Had a weird bit of rash after getting scraped by dogfish. Yes, Harvey. Yeah, dogfish rash is classic. David Winch, you absolute legend. You loves the extended barrel. Hang on, I'm trying to... Oh, there you go. It's let me like it. Two sec Philbert, don't you dare. Two seconds, guys. Yeah, dogfish rash. Philbert, don't you dare. David Winch, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, I, I tried... Oh, what happened there? Oh, Gary was snagged. I tried to support my uh, a first tackle shop I used to use, actually, before they closed down. I was telling them to get merchandise with their name on it for me to use. But it didn't work, and, it, you know, they never made the merchandise, and it never came about. about. Philbert, no! David Winch, you absolute legend. Philbert is on the prowl, I'm watching him. This fox is really good, because he doesn't nick your bait. He just picks up the scraps, but he, he never appears to go for the, the, the pot of bait or anything. He's just, he's really good, he's smart, he knows. Lynn, how you doing? Yeah, we've caught two congarils i have lost a couple of fish but it's not it's no problem we'll be back we'll be back here on the prowl david winch you absolute legend thank you so much ladies and gentlemen sir david winch of local marks fishing with a two dollars a super chat you absolute legend <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Generally, rods, reels, and cars. Their reels are like Swiss watches. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. Yes. Yeah, Akuma. Are they Japanese, Akumas? I never thought of that. I never saw or considered where they were made and stuff like that. Are they Japanese reels? That's it, John, yeah. Yeah, dried dogfish skin used to be used as sandpaper years ago. Yeah, they did. David Winch, you absolute superstar. Thank you so much indeed. You absolute legend. And you know what happens with that? David Winch loves a bit of panic. He also loves the extended barrel. Oh, Lynn. Absolutely amazing. Lynn, thank you. I know you do support them. You mention them regularly on here, which is 
great. I've been offered sponsorship regards to my hobby from big companies, but always turned them down. How comes you turn them down, Keith? If you, you might have the same mindset that I have, or there might be something you know that I don't, because I do turn them down. I just don't, I just feel that it's a mistake getting involved with them and that it could go bad. Is that what your sort of reservations are as well? You know, I used to, like I say, I used to support my first tackle shop, but it went bad in the end. So I'm sort of reluctant to get too involved, you know. David Winch, you absolute legend. And Lynn, you absolute star. Lynn, ladies and gentlemen, with an amazing, amazing $2 super chat also. <laughs> Toodle pips, ladies and gentlemen. Toodle pips. Lynn, thank you so much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to extend the barrel. So gently retrieve the string, extend the barrel. Lynn, thank you so much indeed. Carefully with the barrel. And then we can crimp the end. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And then, ladies and gentlemen, what, you want two at the same time? Is Lynn okay with that? Lynn, are you okay with the two at the same time? A double-barreled pop? It's up to Lynn. Lynn's done the second one. Do you want a double-barreled pop? Ladies and gentlemen. Lynn, specifically. A double-barreled party pop. I'm preparing the second one, just in case. Lynn wants a double-barreled pop as well, David. You've talked her into it. So we've extended this barrel. We've extended this one. We're going to crimp this one. Oh, yeah, it's going to frighten the life out of Philbert. He should be all right, though. He should come back. Philbert, not Gilbert. <laughs> You better warn Gary. Nah, it's all right. They're all right. They know what's coming. I think they're on the phones. They know what's coming. Gary! Party poppers! Just in case, don't want to make you jump. I did let him know, guys. <laughs> yeah, Philbert's going to be frightened to death. It's all right. Ladies and gentlemen, in five seconds, put your pets away. Including your filberts, ladies and gentlemen. In four seconds, there's going to be a rather large explosion here, ladies and gentlemen. In three seconds, get ready for global meltdown. Hi from Wales. I want to go fishing now, Tess. Get your rods out. In two seconds, ladies and gentlemen, a large explosion. Wait for it. In one Second, there's going to be earth tremors. Ladies and gentlemen, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, hey, blimey, that was actually classic. Oh, and the rod's going as well. Right hand rod, right hand rod, right hand rod. Guys, <laughs> yeah, it was a good one, that. <laughs> that actually was really good, guys. They both went proper and the right hand rod's going. We've had a little tap. Yeah, the, the tinsel's all... Oh, there goes Philbert. Oh, he's all right. He's not freaked out, but he's, he's chasing the tinsel. <laughs> that was a wicked double-barreled shot, ladies and gentlemen. Bravo, my lord. Bravo. David, thank you so much. And Lynn, thank you. Oh, 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 that was a good bite. That was a better knock. Thank you.
be snacked. gonna lose this. Lost the hooks. Oh, okay. All right. I won't take that one because this one hasn't gone yet. That's all right. You can chuck it back in because that one hasn't gone. Cheers, though, mate. Oh, Gary kindly offered us another whiting there, but that one we've used hasn't gone, so we've not used it. Oh, Jersey TX. Oh, guys, amazing. Jersey, thank you so much. Cheers to everyone and Philbert. Jersey, thank you so much. Amazing, guys. My throat's going again. My throat's going. It makes it sound like I'm really tired. I'm not. It's just that... I'm getting over this illness, and it's, I've been dehydrating, so I've been drinking loads of liquid. When it, 
My throat dry, it keeps drying out. But Jersey TX, thank you so much indeed, you absolute legend. Absolutely beautiful. Jersey, you get to pick a super chat subject of your choice, should you so wish to do so. But let me have a drink first. Oh. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Jersey, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Amazing hyper chat, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a great evening it's been. Meeting new people. The support coming in has been absolutely outstanding. We've had a couple of bites. The promise of the big fish was there. It came and it went. We had the big hit and we missed it. I'm thinking that that was probably it. I don't, I think. And the best of it was over the high tide. We've given it a little bit longer here to see what happens. But it just doesn't look like that big one's hitting us. I mean, it still could happen. We got, we'll give it another till one o'clock. So was it 30, another 20 minutes? And we'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see what happens. Very frustrating very frustrating but it's been amazing i got to meet trevor and hayley you know so that was amazing and everyone's been down having a go fishing and we've seen some great folk tonight we've had some bait dropped off as well you know uh, and we've seen that the big stuff's there we've seen a beautiful big bait bite and I definitely hooked into something. I never felt the full weight of it, but what I felt, it was definitely a 10 pound plus conger eel. Absolutely no doubt in my mind, I was well excited. I was like, here we go. And then it just pops off. But the great thing is, the, the big fish were here yesterday. We heard about it. We come here tonight and we cast out and they're there still. So they could be there tomorrow. So I think it's worth having another go. Like I say, we've got about another three nights to make the most of this. And, and the fish are there. I think we should come back here tomorrow. I don't usually give advance notice of where I'm going to be, but this is... I think we'd be crazy. We'd be crazy not to come back here crazy and and i think the problem is is if i fished another spot and we didn't do so well i'd have wished we came here and that would haunt me because if we had a bad day on another mark i'd be thinking wow we've we've wasted one of the three days of opportunity we've got to land a beast of a fish here so i think we need to come back here tomorrow anywhere along this wall will do i'll just be sure to bring more mackerel with me tomorrow i think that's half the problem i ran out of mackerel the squid's great but we we need that mackerel wind is picking up yeah so we'll give it 20 minutes guys and then we'll head we'll start to wrap up don't want to go too late because we need to get them batteries charged it takes quite a while from the charge when we go up over six hours it, it takes you know it can take a good 10 to 14 hours to get them charged back back up again so we don't want to leave it too late I've always got a battery on charge at home anyway, spare. And what I find is the rod light takes a lot more power than charging the phone. So what I usually do is, on one night, is I put the, the one that's charging the phone on charge. 
with the one that's at home charging because they usually both finish their charge about the same time and then when I come out I take the two batteries that are charged and then put that rod light one on charge as I come out and then do the same thing again rotate put one in two out Philbert don't you dare I can see you down there Philbert don't you dare Philbert no oh, you're getting cheeky now did I lose? Oh, actually, hang on. I think he's. I think he's good. Let's see what he does. I don't think he's going to rob the bait. I think he's just going for the scraps I've dropped. He's quite smart, this fox. What are you doing? Phil, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing, Phil? Phil, what are you doing? Yeah, he's just looking around for scraps. He's really different to other foxes, this one. They're usually mad for your bait box. But he, this one ain't bothered. He's just picking up the scraps. He's heading towards the bait box now, though. But I've thrown quite a lot of stuff on the floor. I just want to see what he does. He's not looking at the bait box. Yeah, he's not bothered. He's really smart, this one. It's a good fox to have on a place like this. I imagine he's probably learnt from growing up on the wall, you know, going for fishermen's bait boxes and getting told off. So he knows to leave the bait box alone. And the other day I wandered off because of that bloke we met up here, Richard I think his name was, and, and st stupidly in hindsight I walked all the way over to check on Richard and left the bait box and all the bait out on the ground, just not even thinking. But when I came back it was all still there and it was only afterwards I thought, blimey that was lucky, we could have lost all that to the fox. But he's quite good. He's not misbehaving. It's like he knows. Our live chat's not scrolling. Oh, sorry guys, the chat's... What's going on there then? It's just stuck at the super chat. Hyper chat. Sorry guys, hang on. Something's gone wrong here. Oh, there it is now. Sorry. Right, let me go back up to the hyper chat. Oh, God, it's... Oh, you've done two. Oh, Jersey, wow. Oh, I'm so sorry. It wasn't scrolling. Right, hang on. Jersey, wow, you're all very welcome and so worth no thanks needed. Jersey, thank you. I'm so sorry. Amazing support for such a great channel. Great stuff, everyone. David, thank you. Lynette, I'm surprised you're still here. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> why is that? I love having a decent channel and fun entertainment to watch with such kind people as well. Thank you all. Jersey, amazing. Because it's really late. Usually in the bath now, Lynette, Jersey. That's very kind of you to say so, Jersey. Will, no offence, I needed and no song really. Thank you. I am David Winch. Foister, how you doing? Hello, Will and everyone. Now, I love your singing, but keep your voice. Thank you. Well, I won't do sponsorship because I can't lie. Regards products they send me, if it's rubbish, then I can't lie about it. Yes, just to please them. Right, got you. Yeah, yeah it makes perfect sense. Yep, yeah, it's great, Will. Plus 200 plus in the chat. Yeah, it's incredible. The night is young yet, yeah, and I only had two hours sleep last night. My night is young still, but you are in the morning hours already. I'm a night owl. 
I'm always up early for work, even the weekends. I'm off to sleep now. Lynn, take care. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Raymond of Cumbria is still awake. Taz has spotted the fox. Jersey loves Philbert. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> He's peeing and pooping everywhere. He is. That massive bite where the rods were nearly pulled over had me on the edge of my seat. Is Philbert a boy or a girl? Well, I usually a girl. But I think that the female is in a den. And this is the male that's here with us today. Because the female feeds out your hand. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the one we've got here tonight is a male. We all know he's going to pee and poop soon on your bait box. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. It's really okay. No thanks. Jersey, thank you. Lynette. Now we was behind in the chat. There we go. Yeah, now we, yeah, yeah, the irony, David, the irony. <laughs> yeah, now I'm behind in the chat. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely incredible. Thank you, guys. Beautiful. Amazing. It really is. And it helps so much, as I say, with little bits and bobs that need replacing and bait. Filled my bait freezer the other day, which was good. Yes, John. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the foxes are in dens at the moment. It's that time of year. Yeah. Come on, my lord, keep up. I can't believe someone asked me the other day if I'd actually met the royal family. <laughs> no, have you met? They thought I was a lord. Proper lord in that. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of... There's cubs out of the dens already. There's been loads of posts recently on the local groups. Someone found a load of cubs the other day under their shed, but their dog had killed one. So they went out there wondering where the dog had got their pup from, and he was digging at the shed, and they found a, a litter. And they put up on the group saying, oh, we've got a litter, we've brought them in. There's no sign of mum and dad, and our dog's killed one of them. So I know that the, the, the pups are out, or they're in the dens, the, the, the foxes are a cubbing now, pupping. Craig Smith joins us here this evening. Craig Smith, how do you do? Lovely to see you joining us here as the bite drops off over high tide. Well, since the high tide, really. It fished really well, though. Where well, it's been a cracking night for bites, and, and it's great to see that those fish are there. We will be returning. Absolutely, 100% with more mackerel. I only brought one mackerel here tonight. I thought I had more in the tub, to be honest. When I opened the tub earlier, I saw the mackerel and I saw squid, and I thought, right, we've got a couple of mackerel in there, we've got loads of squid, we're all right. But it turned out it was only one mackerel, and we, and we got for it quite quick, because the bites we were getting were large, stripping them mackerel baits off. But it was lovely to feel that big fish on the end of that rod, but so frustrating not to land it. I'll get home tomorrow. I need to sort them reels out. There's so much to do. Sort the reels out, swap it for the other one I got, make new rigs up. Oh, it's just too much. Ladies. Oh, hang on, little tap on the right-hand rod there. Is it going to develop? Something bumped it then, definitely. Is he going to bump it again? There he is. Yeah, there we go. Is it going to develop though? I don't know. Hang on, that looks a bit small. Is he going to do it again? We've had a bump and a bite, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he comes back round. All eyes on that right hand rod just for a second. Just for a second. Give it another couple of minutes. Yeah, he's back. He's back. So he likes what he's tasted. He's having a go at it. Get ready, it might go. It might go. There's something bump. There it is. It's getting better now. He's having a go. He wants it. I don't know if he's big enough to get it, though. I don't know. Is it going to run? Is it, are we going to see a pull? He's just bumping it around at the minute. Could be something small. We'll give it loads of time to develop. So this is all leaving it to develop. There you go, he's still there, so he wants it. 
You might find the hook. It looks a bit like a whiting or a pelt bite here. It looks like a whiting or a pelt bite. It's not developing. We're not seeing a significant pull, which we'd see from a dogfish or anything larger. Is he still there, though? If this is a finicky bite, so yeah, I'd say it was a, a whiting or a pelt. Right, hang on, that looks like it was going to... Oh no. No. I think he's vacated. He has vanished. Oh, that's a shame. Nice to see a little rattle, but it hasn't picked up, so... Probably a little whiting, that one. Right, looks like the lads are packing up. And I will be there with them shortly. Let me just move my bag and that down there. We will be wrapping up soon, guys. We will wrap up soon. Temperature's plummeting, it's getting a bit nippy. But now we get to the end and it's time to pack up. A bit frustrating, a bit frustrating. We lost a good fish, we saw a good bite. The quest is still on for those big fish, but they're here now. So we've got to have another go tomorrow. I'm sorry we haven't managed it tonight, but I think we can all concur that they are there and that coming back tomorrow won't be a bad thing. I mean, after what we've experienced here tonight, I think we'd be mad. We'd be mad not to come back here and have another go. We had some proper good bites. And not long after we got here either, I think we could even get here a bit earlier. Oh, mind you, it'll be daylight, wouldn't it? Planning your return before you've left shows you're keener than keen. I am. Mark, thank you so much. We shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're coming to the end, guys. I need to get home and drink a pint of water. Oh, that was a bit of a pull down there. Hang on. On that right-hand rod again. Looked like something got ready to pick that up then. Or was that just a knock? You did fantastic. Tomorrow's another day. Damn good show. John, thank you. Jersey, thank you, guys. Frustrating though, I'll tell you what. Frustrating. I lost that first fish as well when I messed around with the net. The trouble is, we're going to need that net. We need that net here. If we land the 20, I'm not going to be able to pull it up that wall. It'll straighten the hooks. I will need the net. So it's just going to be a case of getting it to the wall, keeping the tension on the line and getting that net. Even if I have to put... Someone suggested putting the net at the high tide... Mark, I think that's a good idea. That is a good idea. We'll do that tomorrow. Have the net down there, you know. Because I'm just, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I think I need to let the bite develop a bit more. I was too keen. So I think we lip hook that big one because the hook pulled out of its gob. So I think we lip lip hooked it and just need to let that bite develop a bit more. But yeah, lessons we're we're getting there guys. We're getting very close now to to starting to land big fish on a regular basis. As opposed to getting the bites and completely missing it and bringing smashed up rigs. That hasn't happened tonight. We've had one or two smashed up rigs, but we've landed two fish and we've hooked into a couple. You know, that's a step closer to what has been happening before where we've not even hooked into them. You know, we've just brought in smashed up rigs. So we've worked out the rig that works now. We can hook into them more often than not. But there's just a couple of more finer points I need to work on. So I need to let the bite develop just a little bit more 
not much, just so that the, the hook does set. I mean, in one case, we, it, I let it develop too far, you know, the uh, fish was deep hooked. Yeah, the longer snoods are a good idea because they're not able to spin all the way up. One of the ones that came in smashed up, the snood had got caught in the main line after about seven inches. It had spun up and then spun over the main line and tied it up. But had it have not caught in the main line, it, you know, it would have had an extra three or four foot of, of line to go up on. So, yeah. But with the length of a conger's body, you know, that's, sometimes that's going to happen, I guess. It certainly happened tonight. But, yeah, there, there are mistakes. Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. We'll come back here tomorrow with the knowledge, the new knowledge. Let the bite develop a little bit longer. And don't mess around with the net. And we'll see what happens. Tomorrow might be the night. If the bite is still on, you know, it can change from one day to the next. But based on what we learnt yesterday, and we've come here today and got first-hand knowledge, the bite was there yesterday for the guys that were here. The bite was here tonight for us. Hopefully it will be here tomorrow. Right, let's get this bag down there, guys. I'm just going to be back to not being able to sleep now because of all the excitement of knowing the potential that is here for tomorrow. So just when I've got my sleeping pattern back on track, I'm going to be racking my brain all night now, trying to make sure everything's right for tomorrow, get them rigs renewed and um, sort them reels out. There just ain't enough hours in the day, ladies and gentlemen. That's the problem. There ain't enough hours in the day. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> yeah, Phil, but it's honest. Where did the pipe poppers go? Oh, I must have missed the bucket. There they are. Yeah, he's nicked him, isn't he? Thank you, Thank you mate. There, yeah, I'll put it back in there. Oh, you're nice. I was, I was going to chuck it, but now it's in the bottom of that, so I won't go through it, but... But thank you, mate. No, Legend. No uh, hopefully you get a decent bite. We've bite. had the decent bite. I think that one I missed earlier on, that was it. You know, my heart sort of sunk when he got off. That's why I was so I get so upset. Because every time we're fishing, we're getting at one good bite and then that is it. Yeah. You know, luckily tonight we've had two good bites, but they both missed. <laughs> you know? So I was a bit upset when we missed that first one because that is more often than not the bite. Yeah. And we've got to start landing them. But as I was just saying to the guys, we're one step closer to actually figuring it out and getting some good fish to the shore. I want a 20 pound conger out of the local mark. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, so I can show that they're here and it's worth people fishing it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think they're there. But yeah, cheers guys. Cheers no worries, mate. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to leave you in Will's capable cheers, hands. Um, when I get home, I will jump on and I'll say hello to everybody. But, uh, it's getting rather chilly down here, so it's time for me to wrap up and walk back to the car. So, thank you very much and goodbye. Right, I'll say good night. Take care, everyone. I outfished Gary.
that will last forever, that thing. They, they, they do grow a long time, but the other one I've had it in there for ages, it's just oh, died. Right. But, um, yeah, no, I've got three of them. Yeah, no whiskey, mate, no, thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Cheers, guys. Night, Have a great evening. Thank right. you. See that well. Take care, mate. I'll see you again. All right. Right, yeah, so the handle that broke was on the dodgy one. It, the handle that broke was on the dodgy one, ladies and gentlemen. So I didn't think it was, but it, it was on the dodgy one. So that's probably why the handle broke, because one of the reels has started seizing up. So the extra pressure has caused the handle to snap. That's a bonus. Because that reel was having, was going to be replaced anyway with the spare. So what I'll do is I'll replace that reel with a spare, take them both in and grease them up, the spare and the, uh, the, the good one that I've got here, and put that one in the shop uh, for, a, for, a, for a makeover. I'm not going yet, Lynette is a miracle, I'm still awake. <laughs> Just saying bye to the lads. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let me start wrapping up, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start wrapping up. I'm going to bring the rods in, guys. What an amazing evening. Amazing evening. Let me, I've got to move this trolley out there, though. Oh, hang on. Let me put the guitar down. Uh, not down, away. Otherwise, it will get crushed by the trolley. Right, we're going to start slow wrapping up. I'll bring the whiting bait in first because that's been dead and we might get a last minute bite on the squid. Yeah, this, this wall's fishing the best for conga that I've seen it fish for a while actually based on what we've heard and what we've experienced here tonight. There was a period a while back where we were coming up here and hitting the congas, but not the size that we're seeing this year. I mean, they're everywhere and in good number and they're huge. It's really good year for conger eels. If you're into conger eels, I know not many people are, but I love them. So this is, this is a field day for, for us. Lot. Oh, nearly dropped the the phone, oh hang on, oh it's all been knocked, oh the battery's gone over and knocked everything over, that's what it is, right, let's get you back up there, there we go, sorry guys, you nearly went flying there, Well, I just want to do some checks quick before we start wrapping up. So I can might be able to give some very good advice to anyone considering fishing this tomorrow. 
works tonight actually. Right, let's have a look what we got. Three degrees tonight. Same tomorrow. Right guys, if you are coming out tomorrow to fish anywhere along the Solent, wrap up. So two fishermen that have left tonight have said it's cold and they were freezing. Wrap up. That is my advice for anyone coming out tomorrow. It's the same conditions tomorrow that we've got here now. Six degrees with a feels like three degrees in the wind. It's almost freezing. If you're out tomorrow, thermals, pairs of socks, hand warmers, whatever you got, bring it. It's cold out there, ladies and gentlemen. Come on then, Philbert, so you can have some sand deals. Yeah. can have a whiting as well, Philbert. Philbert's about to hit pay dirt. Ouch! <laughs> yeah. I wasn't watching what I was doing. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah.
Right. Just get my cloth here to wipe everything down. We're nearly there, guys. Nearly there. tonight. The fight was right there and he's gone. I'll be back. Little tippy tappies there. I mean, it's not a bad knock that. How am I going to sleep tonight knowing? that there's massive fish out here. Shame we ain't got a camper van up there.
No. <laughs> One last strike, just in case. Let's bring it in, guys. Yeah, just little whiting stripping the baits. So that's it, guys. Two conger eels, which ain't, uh, they were the target. So, uh, you know, at least we didn't come here targeting congers, using the conger baits and catching dogfish. So at least we know the baits that we've chosen to do the job will do the job. We just got to get the job done. It's going to have to be tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. What are you So our biggest conga caught locally is 12 pounds. So I'd like to beat that.
I mean, our 21 pound conga was local, but it was up the road a ways. Do you know what? We could go to where we caught that. You know, I mean, but it's fishing here, it's probably fishing there as well. But I think we've got to come back here. If we have a bad night somewhere else, we will never live down not coming back here. We've got to give it a go tomorrow. Even if it turns out terrible here tomorrow, I, it won't have been a bad idea to come back. There's, there's nowhere else we can go where we won't regret not being here. With the way it's fishing, it's got, got, it's got, it's got to be here. Don't you dare steal my net, Silver. What are you doing? Turn it in. I'll catch you in it, Silver. <laughs> Right, let me put this light on here, guys. Yeah, exciting prospects for the fishing at the moment, you know. I'm really quite excited about that. You know, it's been a great night, really, for the prospect to what's there. It's been ages since we've had this sort of buzz about a spot. Uh, the last buzz that I had about a spot like this was where we were catching all them bass last year when we had that run of bass. Every day we was hitting them, bang, 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 hitting the bass. Looks like this could be the same for Conga. We'll find out tomorrow. If it's fishing good tomorrow for Conga, then we will have at least another two nights on it. You know, if we do tonight, sorry, and then another two nights after of good tide times to hit it. So, mind you, the weather's good tomorrow for it here. It's bad in the day, but I haven't looked any further ahead. Right, I'm trying to do everything down there and then I'll have to move it up behind us. I usually put you lot up there. Oh, hang on, actually, I've got the wind socks in here, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. I cut a couple of wind socks the other day in preparation for when we take the sib out. So we've got one here, so I can put that on and put you over there and the wind won't affect you. So this is a windsock, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's actually a cut of a actual sock. So I cut that off the top of a sock. You can make about four or five windsocks out of a sock, depending on how big your feet are. And my feet are quite big, so I get value for money as far as these windsocks are concerned. And then what I do is I just slide that over the end of my phone where the microphone is. And then, just like that, we have a wind cancelling sock. 
So I'm gonna move you over there in a minute. Just remembered we can only fish till midnight tomorrow. It's not a bad thing, but we've got to go at midnight. I've just remembered. I made some plans. And they've just come back to me. But it's all right, it's still perfect. High tide tomorrow's around about 11. So we can fish up to midnight and that's about right. Because the bite died off tonight here after midnight. So we don't want to stay any later than that tomorrow. All right. right, let me just move you guys up here. Right, the wind is coming from the direction of the windsock. So it might not work as well as I'd hope. Let's see if I can put you up there a bit. Right. At some point, I'd love to check out your power bank. Yeah, man. I have severe sleep apnea and want something to run a CPAP machine when staying out. Oh, wow. Oh, shame we didn't mention it yesterday, I would have showed you. But yeah, you definitely want to have a look at it in person, I guess, so you can get a good idea of if it will do the job. But yeah, next time you're about, just let me know and pop in and have a look. Come on then, Philbert. Yeah, Philbert. There you go. <laughs> you eat well when I'm here, didn't you, Philbert? Cheeky man, cheeky.
Right, we're good. We have left no rubbish behind. Has the windsock worked, guys? Was there a breeze? Or is it all right? Is the sound okay? Dreaded Angler, thank you so much. You forgot to ask yesterday. That's all right. Take care, man. Yeah, drop in. Drop in, man. You'll be able to check it out. Take it easy, man. Right, we're going to take a stroll back. Oh, it's lovely being on a flat road. Oh. Wow, I tell you what, you do get tired once you're done. Once, you know, you've shut down and you realise the night is done, it, you get tired, I feel tired. Oh, can't believe we missed that old fish there. Too good by that big bite looked like a bass, you know. Oh, so I'm quite excited about that, you know. It did, it looked like a bass. Nearly lifted the back of the rods up into the water. I thought one of them was going to go in. Fuming. Devastated at the time, but we had a consolation. We've landed two straps, which we would have otherwise lost on any other day, I think. So it wasn't all bad. It's good. Very exciting. Very, very exciting, actually. Like I say, if there's any specimen anglers out there, now's a good time to hit the wall. Chance of a nice fish out there. I mean, even the dogfish have been a crazy good stamp up this end this year. The, we haven't, you know, the whiting, I caught an half decent one the other day. It was the biggest of the year, but by no means the biggest whiting we've had on any previous year. We've had some proper big ones. Haven't seen any really big ones this year. Just that one half decent one the other day. Actually, when John was down and John Locker was visiting, that was our biggest whiting of the year. But we've we've seen some good fish this year and they, they're just still there, they're rolling in. We've had dab this year, PB dogfish this year, which I couldn't weigh, uh, PB conga, and I tell you what, there's a very realistic chance that we can beat that. Uh, you know, I, I think we can beat that. If we were able to hit those marks every day, we definitely beat it. But it's quite a long way away. Where those other, other conga was, we can't be doing that every day. And in all the road works they're doing at the minute. PB amount of subscribers, yes. PB amount of subscribers. Yeah, every day's a PB on the subscribers. We're beating that every day. Thank you to everyone who's joined, joining the channel. You know, we have some crazy adventures. And it's, it's good fun, man, it's good fun. You know, it was tough in the beginning when we went through some tough times before we learned how to sort of limit the amount of grief we could get by putting in the sort of time delays and certain bits and bobs here and there the night bot and getting moderators in but now it's enjoyable that's really good and yeah as i say this fishing the fishing's amazing i mean hopefully it's going to be a good year for it you know and the fishing's going to be crazy all year i'm hoping these big congas are laying around until we can get the sib out because that'll be a game changer the day we get a sib out there and drop the big baits in for congas, I think we'll be, we'll be seeing something very special. Oh, there's still a rod up here. Oh, I wonder if this is the guy that had the conga. Just get my gear away and I'll ask him if, he, if he's the one who had the conga reel.
apples to them guys. Right, I've got to take the reels out of here because they're coming home. They're not going in the garage. Oh, what an exciting prospect for tomorrow. You know, I'm really tired tonight now, but I just hope I can get enough sleep to be on the ball. So I'm like, Philbert, are you following me? What are you doing, man? Turn it in. Funny, I finished fishing and then I saw it looked like I just could just walk straight into a job interview, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you wouldn't think I've been fishing all night. It's good. I just need to use the port -a -loo. quickly, ladies and gentlemen.
Right guys, we are done. It is home time. We have completed, well, we haven't completed the mission actually. I think this is gonna be a one of three job, to be honest, part one, part two, part three, potentially, tonight being part one. We're hunting a big conga and this was part one. We came very, very, very close. Very close. We'll be back tomorrow for part two of that conga hunt, ladies and gentlemen. JPR, I have the biggest party when we catch our first mackerel of the year. Here's the signal we've been waiting for. Yes, JPR, absolutely correct. Nice to see you there, James. Thank you. The first vid I saw of you just randomly appeared on my YouTube feed. Was a bit of you pretend crying in your toilet. I just found kind of that you couldn't catch a mackerel. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that well. Yeah. Are you going for coffee? Uh, no, holy. I'm going to end this here and, and shoot off. It was fun, 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 regardless. Matt, yeah, we had two congas we caught. They were straps, but we lost a couple of good fish. But we had plenty of action and plenty of opportunity, of which we will be back tomorrow to capitalise on. Like I say, we'd be crazy not to come back here. Crazy. There's, there's, there's no option for going anywhere else. It has to be here. The fish are here. We need to be here. We need to be here. You know, it's not like we came along and we were hoping for conger and we used a bait and we got smashed by every other species with a chance of conger. We came here for conger, we put conger baits on and every fish that hit it was a conger. We managed to avoid the dogfish using the baits and techniques that we've sort of mastered to avoid them. So we'll be back tomorrow because uh, we can filter through everything here and get to the congas. And that's what we want to do. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. I've got a lot to do though. I've got to sort them reels out, make up some new rigs. There just ain't enough time in the day. Ain't enough time in the day. Some people think you're crazy. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, crazy's good, man. If crazy is what we've got here, then yeah, I'll take that. I don't mind being crazy. If crazy means this much fun every day, all good. I am crazy, ladies and gentlemen. I'm crazy. Crazy for crying. And I'm crazy for trying. And I'm crazy for loving you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, 6.58, seven hours we've been going. Seven hours. Seven hours. The rest of the time you prove it, <laughs> that's it, yeah. Yes, yeah, indeed we do. Hey, and why not, hey, it's good fun, it's good fun. It's actually proper low tide here. Look, the rocks are out. The rocks are exposed. We fished the whole tide. Oh, there they are, I was pointing in the wrong place. It's low tide. So we fished it up over high. Well, it's not quite low, but it's well on its way. 10, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, small tide. Surprised those rocks are out already. Thank you, Holy. Thank you. Guys, in five seconds, we're going to shut this down. Let's give you a better view. I do love the Congress Scorpi Ken. My entire existence of, on fishing has been geared towards catching them. You know, it's taking years to work it out, but we're getting there slowly. We will eventually figure out a method for landing at least 70% of them. They are a nightmare for getting on your rig and getting off. We will work it out. It's taking a while, but we're having a lot of fun along the way. But once we figure it out, we'll be landing more often than not some really good fish because conger eels are there throughout the year. You know, we can target other fish in the summer, like, you know, place, flat, you know, bass, smooth round. But if we wanted to, we could hammer conger all year round. So it's a good skill to have in the bag for when it's quiet, you know, and we can 
use what our knowledge that we're gaining on congas to chuck a conga bait out because because they're there all year and we can catch them they're there right through the winter you know and they're probably there through the summer but you know we end up targeting con um smooth out like i say for a good portion of the year and then bass towards the end of the year until the winter when we sometimes have a go at the cod the flounder and then start eating the conga again but um but yeah the congas locally i don't know if they're just getting bigger or we're getting better at catching the, the bigger ones you know yeah they're a great fighting fish you've made me love congas got me can yeah i love them i do i really respect them i do i love them oh, they're one of my favorite fish they're big they're powerful they command respect and I, I love them but guys in five seconds we're going to shut this down and vanish and thank you so much for this evening. It's been absolutely amazing. We nearly lost power at one point, but we saved it. Raymond of Cumbria, take care, mate, you legend. We shall see you next time. And um, be safe, everyone. In four seconds, we'll shut this down. I'm gonna get home quick and get the batteries on charge and start sorting the reels out or just get them ready. I need to get an extra weight out of the box as well. I need to remember that. There's a couple of bits. There was something else as well. Four seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Holy, take care. There was something else. Oh, the rigs. Yeah, make the rigs. Three seconds, ladies and gentlemen. And we shall dash off. Thank you for tonight. It's been an incredible night. We've learned a lot more. Uh, I can't, LC. I've got to go, mate. I'm tired. I'm tired and thirsty. Tired and thirsty, mate. Thank you, but I am tired and thirsty, buddy. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I've got to be gone by 12 tomorrow. So, um... I forgot, but I do. I will, we'll have to hit this and then be away for midnight. But, but thank you for the offer all the same. In two seconds, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dash and, um, and vacate the area. I need to go straight home because I am shattered. I need to get those batteries on, grab water and go to bed. It, it would either be a case of stay up late and sort the reels and rigs and wait now or try and get to bed and get up at a reasonable time tomorrow and do it before we go. There's a lot to do. Adios amigo. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next Local Marks Fishing Live, which is looking like it could be very exciting. Be there or be square, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care, guys. Bye for now. Be safe, guys. Thank you.